Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Hero Vision Podcast, and I got myself Hector, also known as CN Six, and with me I got the legendary Hav. Yeah. And Jazzy, what's up? Jazz on my knob, right? Facts. Um, but before we get into it, guys, I'd like to remind you guys that you guys can listen to us on Spotify. Uh, actually, wait, what about uh, we're gonna be reviewing? I, I just that made me that threw me off. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be reviewing uh, the Continental uh, from the world of John Wick. Yeah, the three and, episode show. Yeah, yeah, and we're pretty late on it. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, I mean, when when did this one come out again? Um, uh, maybe like about a month ago, maybe, I think. Yeah, so it's we're late, ago, and yeah. I mean, just you know, we're late just because of time and everything. But I definitely wanted to um, get this. I wanted. I definitely want to review this one just because it's in the world of John Wick. And all, all of us here, right. we all love John Wick. Yeah. So like, and I mean, just seeing this, man, it gets me more hyped about mm-hmm. uh, future projects. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing, guys. But before we we get into it, you guys can listen to us on Spotify, Apple, Google, SoundCloud, and YouTube. Make sure you follow our socials at He Ray Vision Podcast or go to He Ray Vision Podcast dot com. You're gonna see all of our links through there. Make sure you follow our second YouTube channel called Heat Ray Vision Clips. That's where we'll post all of our clips. Or if you don't know, if you don't have enough time to listen to the whole podcast, we'll post all the highlights through there. Make sure you follow our main page called Heat Ray Vision to stay up to date with any geek news and films, TV, and video games. The socials are at Heat Ray Vision or go to heatrayvision.com to see to find all of our socials. All the links will be down in this the description. And yeah, with that being said, man, let's get into it, man. The, the Continental. Episode one. Uh, episode one. Uh, obviously, the difference here is that's three episodes. It's but not traditional, like, what? Uh, what? Longer, more than three. So, like, let's say the six Marvel the Marvel format. Six, that's six, nine episodes, each 30 minutes, some shit like that. No, there's three episodes, episodes like each. Episodes. Like, that ass like a movie. It's an hour and a half. Yeah. Every episode. The, which, Hector, before we sat down last Saturday to watch the first one, Hector actually made a good point. And he said, like, what if this becomes, like, the new format where it's, like, uh, it's only, like, three, four episodes, but each episode is, like, an hour, an hour and 20, yeah. maybe an hour and a half. And it comes out, like, maybe every two weeks, or maybe a week break, some shit like that, where it builds up hype. Yeah. So that way it lasts over time so the companies get your monthly subscription, right? And I'm just like, you know what? They could actually work. Because, like, honestly, if they kept it going, like, like I don't know what the next thing is going to come out for the John Wick w- world, right? Yeah. But if it were to come out like this, where it's like, oh, it's only four episodes, but it's a, uh, it's an hour and fifteen each episode, an hour and thirty each episode. I'm just like, all right, I'll take that shit. Honestly, I like, I, I liked it because when I sat down to watch it throughout this past week, I kind of look forward to it. Like when I get home, I'm like, yeah, I'm a, I have an hour and a half episode to watch it now. Like that's fire. So I, I don't know. I think it's a very good and idea that like you brought up. It's like not too long. It's just three episodes. It's literally simple. what the old format movie used to be. And, 90 minutes. and this this movie, uh, not this movie, uh, the show dropped on Peacock, which I'm surprised. Which I think that. because it was on Peacock, bro, it turned off a lot of people. Oh, for sure, bro. Because Peacock, yeah, man, let's be real. People, yeah. If you when people think of Peacock, it's like a oh, it's like the it's the Walmart of Netflix. Yeah, but I mean they're still do, they're doing well. Though. Yeah, I, they, I know. They yeah. got uh, they were, they managed to get um. The Super Mario Bros. movie yep, on there. Yeah, that's true. And same with The Office. I think The Office, that's what they led with. Oh, it's still with. on there? Yeah, that's what they led with, actually. Uh-huh. That's what they promoted the fuck ton that they got that. Hmm. And so, I mean, they're doing well. And I was just expecting that this show to be like a like HBO Max show type thing. Yeah, that's true, you know given I mean? how brutal Not it is. Peacock, right? But and since we don't have Peacock, guys, we... Uh, you know, have you got the link? Have you got the link? Right? Have you got the link? Hey, no, don't look have you got me. the bro? Have you got the plug? Have you got what the do you plug? mean? Don't look at you. Look it's at all Javi's idea. By hey, the way. Oh, fuck y'all. Hey, hey, members you. only, man. If y'all listening, say. guys, allegedly, allegedly in Minecraft. Yo, what? Um, you know when you say something crazy shit in Minecraft, you just say Minecraft or in GTA. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, so you don't get you know. But um, but yeah, I, I definitely did like the. I like that format. Three yeah, episodes. same here. What it's about kinda, you, It's kind of like... Um, oh, my bad. It's almost poetic. What do you mean? Way, where it's like... Um, like, a, like you know, like when movies do trilogies? What if they do trilogies like an episode? You know what I mean? Yeah. Just three episodes in a show. I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, The Continental Guys from the world of John Wick. That's literally what, what it's called. Mm-hmm. Um, and this obviously takes place in the 1970s. You know, this is way before, obviously, the prequel, prequel to John Wick. And yeah. we get a young um, Winston Scott and basically how he came to um, rule the Continental. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. At first, I didn't think that was... At first, I, I thought it was going to be like how the Continental was made. Same here. 
I didn't think that it was uh, the Continental was already established and mm-hmm. him he was going to like take control over it. And, yeah. And whatnot. Right. And so, yeah, we're just going to since uh, obviously these episodes are pretty long, guys. Um, it's three episodes. A bunch of things ha- uh, happen. I just want to go over um, the most important things of each episode. Then we give our rating. Um, but uh, yeah, t- the way uh, this starts off when I mean, we get immediately we get a flashback from 1955 new york city where we see um winston as a boy and mm-hmm. same with frankie um in inter in in an in interrogation room right by the cops and stuff and we find out that they were errand boys by the main villain in this um uh, series the mobster cormac which he's the one who uh is running the continental mm-hmm. and so they are essentially errand boys because they have some debt uh they have to repay their father's debt, essentially, and so that's that's um, that's the earlier earlier like stages of life that mm-hmm. we get from them, and we find out later on, fast forward, that Frankie is obviously still involved with them, still being a part of the Continental, and that's where we get this whole cool introduction scene, where they they do like a mini heist or whatever. Um, Hav, do you want to talk about that? Like what that what Frankie was doing in the intro. He pulls off a heist to steal a coin press that belonged to Cormac. Yeah. Uh, for whatever reason. I don't know if it's ever explained why he took it. I don't think he took it for money to sell it or anything like no, that. No. But rather it's he be- just took I it. I think that coin press makes the coins that they use as currency at the Continental Hotels, which is why it's so important because you can't really duplicate those coins that easily. Mm. So if you take that, it's like, yo, what the fuck? He, had, he can make unlimited coins mm-hmm. now. So he began essentially we have hold all the power in terms of so currency. Yeah, I, yeah, I got it right here. All um, right, man, you say it then. Yeah, that. Um, oh, and and you know, I sh- I'm using guys. We were uh, not really prepared, so shout out to. I'm gonna shout out this website, man. Ready, steady, cut. So shout out to y'all. Shout out, man. shout out. Um, but yeah, so the reason why it says right here that in the first episode that Frankie explains that a mysterious group of of a group hired him to steal the ancient coin press and offered him enough money to start over. Uh, far away from Cormac and his influence. Oh, yeah. mm. uh, but that they left him high and dry, and he and Yen, which we find out that Yen is his, uh, his wife, wife. Yeah. are now hiding inside the old theater. And that's mm-hmm. where Winston finds him. Um, but yeah, so that's the reason why. And the way it happens, we get that cool fucking scene where you know he robs that coin press mm-hmm. in the Continental. We see him basically do some John Wick shit. Yeah, bro. The action here is how you see it in all the John Wick movies. Pretty it's, much. It's the yeah, exact dude. same vibe. And me, guess, Hector, we were watching that shit, and we're like, yo, this... I w-, because it was a show, some part of me thought this shit was not going to be as good as the movies. No, fuck Like, I thought no something... I thought, I thought... I'm like, oh, it's probably not going to be exactly like John Wick, sadly. Like, it's going to be good. I expect it to be good, but it's not going to be at that level of John no, it Wick. It will be. I had no yeah. So in my when mind. we got that that staircase scene where it was he was walking down, and I'm I'm watching that That's shit. Fire, I'm like, man. yo, this shit is <laughs> fire as shit. Oh my god. No, it, yeah, it is. And so, um, so after that, it cuts. We get a young uh, a Winston, right? Mm-hmm. He's living in uh, currently in London, mm-hmm. and he's like a like a con artist. Con yes. artist. So yep. He's a con artist. He has a like a lover by his side and everything, and he randomly gets kidnapped. And we're like, mm. yo, what the fuck's going on? Gets kidnapped by Cormac and his crew, and gets taken to the Continental, and is basically threatening him, saying, "Yo, where's your brother, man? He took something valuable from me and shit." And he's like, "Man, I don't know what the fuck's going on," and it. And then he basically just says, okay, you don't know who he is. Well, I'm going to find him and I'm going to kill his ass. And that's where we lead off to where um, Winston is, all right, you know, I got to find him. Yeah. I got to I got, I got to find uh, who he is. But I, not, also, I want to mention as well, like, while that's happening, we get introduced to um, KD. Yes. Right? Which is, uh, Hav, you want to explain, explain who she is? So KD is it a character that gets introduced. She is a detective and she's on the hunt for the Scott brothers. Yeah. So on the hunt for Frankie and Winston Scott. And the reason why we find out that she's hunting them down is whole she's had this whole hell bent thing where she's like, I'm trying to find these people, I'm trying to find these guys, like and she starts to like interrogate people who may know something and all that. And the reason as to uh, as to why she's hunting these brothers down is because tying back to the flashback in the first episode, we find out that, you know, when they were in that interrogation room, they did something. They did something mm-hmm. that affected KD 
all those years ago, and so she wants revenge for what they did. And we don't find that out till the, the last third one. episode. Yeah, yeah. much Which later. We'll, yeah, we'll much get into. later. Oh, oh y'all want to wait? Oh, do you? I mean, do you want to? If go I ahead. Said, okay, go ahead. I said we can just talk about it now. Because it all makes it easier. Right? Kinda, it's all spoilers. Yeah, it's all spoilers. Did yeah. I say that? No, we didn't. No, we I was didn't. about to say. Yeah, we didn't say that. Oh, what well, spoilers, guys? Yeah, spoilers. Yeah. I mean, we technically, we technically already already said some spoiler shit, didn't I? Yeah, I know. That's yeah. why we're like, oh shit, we didn't say. It. But I feel like it's a given. <laughs> oh, since fuck, it, you're right. No, what? It's gonna be in the title either yeah, way. We're gonna say it. Oh, okay, either okay, either okay, way, no, we're fine. We're fine. It's been out for a month. <laughs> no, you're right. I didn't I didn't say anything. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, spoiler right. review, right? Yeah. But uh, basically, in that flashback, we find out that Cormac sends the brothers to send uh, throw a Molotov at a house, uh, but unbeknownst to them, to the two of them, they didn't know that there was a family in there. And they burned the family alive. But then we later find out that, well, that was the reason why Cormac sent them. Because he sent out the hit. Yeah. He wanted those people in there dead. So Frankie throws the Molotov and kills the family inside. But one survives. Who we find out is KD. Yeah. And that's why KD is on this revenge quest looking for the Scott brothers. And, and, and the Scott brothers, they didn't know that there was people in there. No, and it was know. actually... um. It was Winston that threw the Molotov because yeah. he wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, he wanted yeah. to do it. Um, that is right. And so th that's why we get we don't find that out until the third episode. But the first episode, that's why we're like, okay, who is this chick? Because we just get hints of like, oh, I got to find this person. I got to find Frank. Mm -hmm. And we're like, what's going on, right? We don't know essentially what's going on. And so obviously this all leads to um, cut back to Winston where he's trying to find his brother because before – Cormac does right mm -hmm. and then that's where we introduce these other characters Lou and Miles which they run this um, karate dojo and they worked with Frankie mm -hmm. that's what we find out and because they were till, connected in some way so I guess they said he they he bailed on them I guess on some yeah. job or whatever yeah. they're like we never seen your brother ever since and then they're kind of up at odds with like Winston because he's like well he's your brother and he fucked us over Exactly. He's like, no, 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 y'all don't understand. Like, I'm bro, what, not about that. Not like shit. that. I'm just trying to Excuse me. Uh, what y'all think about the the conversation that um, uh, Winston had? Uh, was Winston's his name right? The one that's in uh, the John Wick movies? Who, yeah, the older yeah. guy. Okay, Winston, okay. The older guy. And he had a conversation with the brother uh, in the in the basement in, in that vault with all the guns. Cause I, I told Hector this. I was like, yo, that's a raw, that's a bar. Like that oh, was a bar. Oh, uh, so basically he was describing his older brother, right? He was like, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. We didn't, well, we he didn't. doesn't know where he, he doesn't know where this is, where, where he, what you're talking about. And it's just, remember when they get to the dojo, yeah, right. And they finally take them into the armory that they had oh, yeah, downstairs. downstairs. He's like, oh, that's a lot of guns. Yeah. That scene. We're there. Okay. Yeah, where, where he's like describing like all what the history the, yeah. the, the, with them two. Right. Okay. <clears throat> and I, <clears throat> I was telling Hector because then during that conversation, that there was a line in there that I thought it was like super hard. I was like, "That's tough." Where he <laughs> said like, um, uh, "He was different. Like, uh, it wasn't the person who had to keep up with the gun. It was the gun that had to keep up with him." And mm -hmm. I, 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 after I heard that shit, I was like, "Yo, that like it made me think of the brother. Like, yo, he's a badass. Like, not only did we see in the beginning of the episode, right? But it was like, yo, like he's actually like, oh, like, oh yeah, he's the, about the it. Gun got to keep up with him. Yeah, that shit. Yeah. I was just like, whoa, that was raw as fuck. So the level of writing, yeah, they were hyping it, his man up. Like, yeah, bro, how it ended, man. Yeah, I, I know. Satisfied. With I that. know. I know what you mean. But the level of writing, everything, I think it's just like in the movies, bro. Yeah. Yeah, and so yeah, we introduced to those characters, Lou and Miles, the, the siblings, and then that Lemmy character, which I really liked. Lemmy, mm -hmm. yeah, he's cool, and he's like a, like the comedic one in the, yeah. in, the in the whole uh, show. And then w after that, we get a we get a hint of the uh, adjudicator, that chick with the with the mask, with the mask. Yeah, like, bro. Like, with the oh fuck. my god, that we get that fun. scene where they're torturing one of a Frankie's um, uh, uh, partner that uh, trade that uh, betrayed him, the guy that betrayed yeah. him in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. I think he died. I think it's someone else. Cause I just remember when when uh, he was stealing the coin press, and then he was he was betrayed by his partner on yeah. some like mm -hmm. Dark Knight shit. Yes. Did he die? Yeah, right. I I'm, don't remember. I don't remember. I remember. Character's not remember. relevant enough for me to remember. Yeah. <laughs> but either way, that's anyways. I'm sure uh, that's he was we, fucked. We, yeah, we finally we finally meet her, right? And yeah. so now, cut back um, to uh, Winston finally finds. Um, Frankie and his wife they're at this theater place mm -hmm. and we get the whole story of like this is where like he explains why he took the coin press or whatever mm -hmm. and so there's like um, this is when I think Cormac's men try getting at them and yeah. then we find out it's like a different house or some shit different building that was yeah, pretty cool like fucked them over basically. yeah 
And then Cormac is all pissed. And then he's like, yeah. you know what? Give me the freaks. Give me. Oh, they're all freaks. You know what? Give me the twins. Give yeah. me these Hansel and Gretel. Yeah. yeah. What'd you say before? You know what? <laughs> you said what? some the shit. Dusseldorfs. What oh, is Dusseldorf. that? Because what is I, that? Because they're. I'm, I, I, I associate <laughs> Hansel. Uh, what, what is it? That's what is that, though? I'm, I've heard of that before. <laughs> they're <laughs> German, right? Like, that's a German. I'm assuming. Hansel and Gretel? Gretel? Yeah. Probably. That's a place. Bro. Oh, I just assume like Sounds they're like German. I, I could be wrong. Oh, if I am, I apologize. But like, I just think I said Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf but... is a city in Germany. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I just named a random city. <laughs> Yo, who are those people? Uh, fuck, I don't even know. The <laughs> London. <laughs> like what's going? The Paris. Paris. Yeah, Bro, I just knew they were German. I, oh, I assume. I, just, I assume like they because yeah, Hansel and Gerda. I'm like, are they? Is that German? <laughs> like, so, I don't know. Yeah. So essentially, we got like a mini subplot, right? Or like yeah. these mini sub villains. Right, these Hansel and Gretel, and these these two twins, and I started laughing when I saw the guy. Uh, yeah. I told Mario he looked like Lord Farquaad. He, yeah, did. he did. He did. Right? He had a he haircut like did. Lord Farquaad. It was <laughs> yep. funny as shit. Hey, but the chick, hey, the chick though. Hey man, hop from out the slide. Oh. I'm off the slide. You know what I mean? And on D, um, what's her name? DK. Is that is that her name? <laughs> no, I forgot. You, you were about to say DK. KD. I was about to say DK. KD. KD. <laughs> KD. KD. Hey, my KD. Ross, fuck, don't call it though. What you mean? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sliding KD, man. I was pissed when he when uh, we get that sex scene with them. He's like, that's Remember that? Mean. I was like, fuck. I was mad <laughs> hell as hell. No. I was about to, <laughs> was about like, to kill. That should have like, been me. Hell yeah. Have you seen the motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, that's what I was telling. I was telling Mario. I'm like, how is this guy bagging this chick right now? Uh, he got me crazy. fucked up. And right? he had a family. Yeah. yeah. And oh, he had a family. Hey. He just like me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a evil world we live in, buddy. Yeah. It's an evil world. I, I can just admit it to being a cheater. It's an, it's an evil world, bro. But like, he frees me free. Yeah, it's it's, it, hi, it's an evil world, but it's the only world we got. Oh. Shout out to Danny, man. But yeah, we get Hansel and Gretel, right? And they suit up. They're like, they be wearing trench coats and shit. Like they be like leather ones, bro. That shit. Yeah, bro. There's some like some and Emo they're on shit. the and yeah, their objective is to hunt down when Frankie, Frankie and the coin oh, press, yeah, yeah, right? And so uh, then uh, I have it here, right here, that we find out that um, why did Frankie abandon Winston, right, as a child, right? And it says uh, I got it right here. Uh, after the uh, after the arrest, Frankie cut all contact with his younger brother. Winston harbors resentment over having been abandoned, but Frankie did what he thought was best to protect his brother from the underworld. Mm -hmm. And I remember that's because um, um. Winston didn't want to be a part of like what he was a part of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then so uh his brother was like, Hey man, I thought what I did was best, man. St stay away from you because I'm a part of this shit. And you didn't want to be a part of that. And I, I like that scene, man. I was like, damn, bro. That like, he was And being I told Mario, I'm like, Mario, how like if your older brother how would you feel if your older brother did that? And Mario's like, I don't give a fuck or some shit. I what? Remember I told you, how would you react if your older brother told you that shit? Don't you remember? I'm trying to remember what I said. Mm -hmm. You just said you didn't care, bro. I'm like, For damn, like, I ain't close. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I don't remember crazy. saying that. I just, remember, like, I, don't, I, don't I, I just remember saying that I was like, I remember him saying the the other brother saying like, oh, I was being a big brother by not involving you in my life by disappearing in your life. And then Winston said, well, I needed my big brother, and, he, and obviously he said that. And I'm just like, oh, that's yeah. such a that's a good scene of like the showing their their bond. The right. Crew. And then I asked you like, what about like. <laughs> Wait, what, Bob? What, what? He completely ignored your that's, question. That's why I'm about to ask him again. Like, <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, I don't remember like, him saying that. I don't know that. what he's I said what I remember. Sure, I'm just move on. I said, like, I'm like, I don't remember that. But what I remember about that scene, no, I, was, I know you're not no. talking about the scene, by the way. You're asking me about your question. Yeah, why not answer that? But I'm bro, saying, like, right? I don't, the only thing, like, I remember about that, like, that time when we were watching it was that, that what I just described. Yeah, but then, like, I looked at you. We paused it even. You were looking at me I dead just, in the face. That's why I said, I'm Maybe like, you I don't a remember. Super crash from the fucking Bortillo's chocolate oh, cake Oh, my shake. God. Fuck yeah. That oh, shit sounds good. Oh, we had that, bro. Well, I mean, I get that you say it sounds good, bro, but yo, that bitch was sweet. It as was hell, sweet. Bro. Like it was too sweet and expensive. Do you think it was bro. because that shit was expensive? Right? But do you think it's because you haven't had it in a while? Because we've tried it before years yeah. ago. When you I don't together. remember it being that sweet yeah. though. I like. I can't remember. I remember I liked it the first time when we went, but for some reason, dude, like it, I like it was too sweet, bro. I was like, oh, like, damn, I had to take a break on that bitch. I don't know if it was just that instance. I don't know if you get it today or whatever. Maybe I don't know. No, it's been a while. That's why I'm craving it. I'm go ahead. Go ahead and see what you. No, yeah. It's, go ahead. It's not seven bucks, bro. That shit expensive. Um, 
But no, it was good, but it was just like it was sweet. too sweet. Like, and I, I, I have a sweet tooth. I told Hector this, but I'm like, Mario has a crazy sweet tooth. And I told him, I'm like, no, that's like even sweet for me. I'm more of a like a chip guy. Yeah, I told you. I'm like, no, you're a chip dude, bro. I'd be more of like a dick guy. <laughs> she, uh, <laughs> late night snack <laughs> wakes up at 4 a.m. Uh, 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 let me hit up Danny. Let me hit up Mario. <laughs> <laughs> let me hit up. Let me hit up Mario. Yo, bro, what are you doing right okay, now? I was like, what we are? <laughs> what we are? Right now, I'm on you. Uh, <laughs> and so, okay, back to the, back to the continental guys. Uh, so, shit. so obviously, we get this cool fight uh, scene, obviously with Yen and Frankie. Right, and they end up flying away with in, the, in that helicopter or whatever, as like the Hensel and Gretel are like mm. sniping them and shit. Yeah, and then this is the part where shit. Um, this shit, f- this shit, fucking, this is crazy. Man. Surprised me. Yeah, and yeah. so what? It, well, basically, um, so I'm gonna read it right here. Uh, as the three are about to escape in the helicopter, Charlie arranged Hansel and Gretel start shooting at the aircraft and hit the pilot. In a brave show of loyalty, Frankie jumps out of the chopper mm-hmm. with the coin press, sacrificing himself so his wife and brother may live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because he says, they want me in the Not coin you. press. And he jumps off. And then ha- that... Uh, Gretel. Which, is it Gretel? Yeah. yeah. Gretel fucking just snipes his snipes ass. Snipes his ass. Head. Yeah. Headshot. I was not expecting that. Dude, man. I honestly thought he was going to stick around for the rest of the show. Me too. I did think he was gonna die though. Yo, yeah, but not because like he's not because he's not in the present time in the John yeah. Wick movies. So I'm like, either he's dead or just not around. Yeah. And for whatever reason, Winston never brings him up. No, I told Hector but like I, in the very first episode. My no, God. after so that, two episodes left. Yeah, I know. Yeah, what the man. fuck? After I after that happened, I told Hector. I'm, I told Hector like maybe this is what flips Winston into playing hardcore. Because in that first episode, bro, he was kind of like Winston know. was kind of a little bitch. Yeah, I, I'm. I wanted. I didn't want to say that, but I'm my like, well, is, he was. My thing bitch. is, how does yeah. motherfucker know how to fight? Who Winston? That's Winston. His younger if, days from the flashbacks. I'm assuming, bro. Yeah, but and like, to be honest, he shit. didn't really fight like that. Yeah. No, no, right. You but like, I mean? my thing was like, but he knew some shit. Like, yeah. yeah, and he knew a lot of gun shit, and it's like maybe from bro, his brother, you, but from a young yeah. age, bro. From a I young, mean, like I get it, right? Like, yeah. I mean, Winston kills like, after, someone after at after fucking brother, Like you would think after your brother abandons you, like leaves you, right? Because well, you we don't, well, we don't know when that happened, though. Yeah, we don't know when. So maybe like it could have happened when they were in their teens, and maybe even when they were in their teens, like his brother was already involved, right? And the, with the Continental, yeah, maybe taught true. him a few things, just like with Sharon. Like he's a teen in this bitch, or Sharon, Sher- Sharon, Sharon. Sharon. Which you know who that is, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, R.I.P. Man, fuck. R.I.P. That's Redick, bro. Fuck. But uh, with him, like you know, he's a teen, so maybe, maybe that's when that happened. Because like, let's be like, yeah, he's not fighting like crazy, but he like does little shit. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. And he's a con artist, so you never know what he got involved with in that life. I I get. I mean, I guess. I think I yeah. could, I feel like I could con Pablo Escobar. <laughs> 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 no. What y'all think? No. What you mean no? I nah. always caught him. Ooh. He, he, he pointed at Hector. Ooh. Oh, yeah, right. Because well, we you, you want, yeah, I caught him. Like he pointed at me. I was like, he pointed at Hector, by the way, for the listeners. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Dang, bro. How about you con this? This dick, man. <laughs> Anyways. Yo, what's what with the that, dick man? jokes this podcast? <laughs> hey, man, it's Hector, bro. <laughs> hey, man. It's Mario, man. Oh, it's Mario. <laughs> oh, but yeah, that's how he dies, man. And I was, and me, I was like, I saw him Mario. I'm like, dude, they hyped it him sucks. up, man. They hyped the Frankie boy up and yep. just got rocked. Well, I'm, not, yeah. Well, not well, willingly, right? Yeah. But I was yeah. expecting him to be a part of the show more and stuff. But At least he went Mario out like that. I did call it out. I was like, oh, watch. Like, this is going to cause Winston to Flip the fuck out and go beast mode. He's gonna go John Wick, kind of right. Yeah. Well, he didn't really go John Wick. Yeah, I know. He no. went. He went like the mastermind, like of yeah. everything, mm-hmm. right? And so <laughs> and he says the uh, the iconic line at the end. Oh yeah, you want oh, to talk about that? When he goes back to the dojo mm-hmm. and he's like, "We need guns, lots of guns." Yeah, bro. Yeah. And, and a Mountain Dew with no ice. <laughs> <laughs> and a Mountain Dew with no ice, bitch. Shaking, <laughs> not stirs. <laughs> Shaking. <laughs> Y'all don't even know what's up with that. And the 10-piece beat-ups. Not microwaved. Fresh out the oven, ho. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I talking like like Batman? Batman? Because I mean, that's how he said it in the scene. That's how pissed he was, bro. Yeah. Like, yo, like, I'm pissed as fuck right now. Yeah. <laughs> you're, just, you're just going about your day, but now I'm mad. <laughs> like, your voice just changes. My just died. Of course I'm mad. <laughs> he goes from talking to Hector on the phone. Oh, yeah, Hector. Yeah, starts- I'll put the review. Hold on, I'm going to order a nice coffee. I want one no, medium. <sighs> Very few ice cubes. No sugar, cream. 
I don't know where What's you get the copy. I don't feel like he's not, how is that a copy? I, I, I just said something random, bro. How is that a copy person? Mm-hmm. But uh, no. Fuck that. <laughs> you know what? I'm not renewing my stubs membership. <laughs> <laughs> not until this shit's done. I so can't watch. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> so better hurry. I can't watch a movie in peace knowing my brother just got obliterated. So <laughs> fuck you saying I, 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 Me and Frankie always, we, We'd always get large popcorn to share Now I'm about to just get a small Egg roll I can't, roll. I can't go <laughs> What? No, what? Egg what? Egg what? I started laughing I started laughing You literally just said an egg roll Like no, you just threw egg, that in there What does roll. that mean? I'm about to make you roll <laughs> <laughs> you stole I'm my joke. Gonna, I'm gonna make you roll in the grave, bro. You literally uh, just stole my joke. You didn't even say it. Yes, I did. Well, you did. He, did, he said the, it. I no, the, I the didn't hear him. Joke. I said it when we watched the first episode. Dude, when we when, he, when we figured, uh, uh, was the second episode or no first episode? We get introduced to that Chinese guy. Oh, you did? Yeah, bro. Uh, I, I said that bad. joke. I literally said. I don't remember. Whatever. Man. He's stealing my jokes, man. I mean, what's new, right? Fuck you. <laughs> what's new, bro? What's new? Uh, but anyways, that's how Frankie dies, right? And then, um. They finally get the coin press, right? And it's back inside the Continental. Cormac is like, yes, I finally have the, the coin press. Let's yeah. go. And he opens up he opens up the box to find it's not there. And Side it's page. just a, what, a statue of like a middle finger or yeah, something. Yeah, it's a funny. Monkey, mm-hmm. A monkey, right? He's doing the middle finger. And that's where he's like, what the fuck? He loses his shit. He's like, find me that man or whatever. And essentially, that's how this first episode uh, ends, man. Yeah. So, I mean, let's go. Uh, final thoughts on the first episode and the rating. Uh, Mario, let's start with you, man. Uh, oh, you want to rate episode by episode? Yeah, I say why not, yeah. I right, fuck it. All right. I mean, uh, we're already, I mean, yeah. Might as well do it. But, uh, I, like I said, I, I did have my worries about this show because I didn't know if it was going to be the level at John Wick, the movies. And especially being on Peacock, I definitely was a, uh, one of those people. I was like, mm, I don't know if I trust Peacock like that, you know? Yeah, because I thought that <clears throat> Hector made a good point where he's like, I expected this show to be on HBO Max. You know what I mean? But uh, no, this first epi- episode completely shut down all of the 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 worries I had going into it, and uh, because of that, I think I'm going to give this first episode a nine. Yeah. What about you, Hav? Um, I don't think the streaming services matter. Mm-hmm. I don't think that plays a part in any way, shape, or form as to the content of what the show or a movie might be. Yeah, I think whatever streaming service it comes out on is just kind of a convenience, Ooh, whether you have it or not. What about Disney and Marvel? Ooh, <laughs> that's their own streaming Disney. service. <laughs> but the way how they make shit, I'm not yeah, because worried. that's because they're a monopoly. Like that's just like but their that's own thing. making you worry though. Yeah, but not the other streaming service. Like that's like saying, oh, but like. But like, what about, like... But you said none of them, huh? But like, what about Netflix? Whoa. And it's like, well, Netflix, like... No, Netflix doesn't hold back on anything. Like, I don't know. Like, to me, it's just, like, Netflix doesn't really matter. Like, mm-hmm. because it's, like, it's it's a, it's a matter of whether the producers, the writers, the directors do a good job making the making the, the, the show. Yeah. You know, Disney, yeah, it's worrying because they restrict their people to do their shit. Like, you got to make your show funny, like Thor, Love and Thunder. Audiences love that. You like can't have, with shots you can't have blood and shit in, in Marvel movies shit. What the fuck? It's PG-13. That's why it's worrying. Everyone else is not like that, though. Everyone else, you give the creative freedom. So when it was coming yeah. out on Peacock, I was like, that's fine. It's just, a for- well, the reason why it's, like, unfortunate, well, for me, at least, that was on Peacock, is like, oh, another service. Like, I gotta, like, I don't want to pay just for that. Yeah, but yeah. it's always going to happen. There's always going to be a streaming service that we may or may not have, and something's going to come out. Like, it's just... That's true. It's like the game. It's the streaming service game. And they they are tr- going to try to make you to subscribe to all of them because one thing has something that you really want to watch. You know what I mean? It's just a thing. Like MGM. But if you got own. the link, it's reps. You don't. It's need an evil that. world. Shit don't even matter. It's all Javi's idea. You for the feds listening. <laughs> <laughs> the, for the FBI. What's listening? the link? Tell us now. FBI. But anyways, how have you rating on this one on the first episode? I I I, I I'm I'm gonna give this first episode a ten. Oh damn! Okay, huh? What's it? I mean, yo, man, this. I mean, I really enjoyed it, man. I thought it was fire, man. First good um, episode. I'm agree with high, bro. As a ten, man. Okay. I thought this was ten. When you first watched it, you gave it a nine. Yeah, but then I was looking back on it when I saw the second episode, and I. How to explain this? You know when you watch a second episode, uh, the next episode, 
and then they connect certain things and then it just makes a, the last episode you saw better mm-hmm. i don't explain it no, can I feel so i'm like so yeah man, i think it's a 10 man. Mm-hmm. and so so yeah the, then the second episode guys right we're on the second episode this is the part where obviously he's like he's forming the band yeah, right. he needs a he needs a form of band. A and recruitment it, episode like Loki is done yeah. better. Yeah, it was actually pretty cool. Like one of, and I guess one of and them. Each of the characters, each of the people that they recruit, yeah. are like memorable. You notice that? Yeah. yeah. For me, it's like in Loki, bro. I could give less of a fuck about K five. Yeah, that's you know actually, what I'm talking about? Yeah. That chick, like, yeah. why is she there? I think the only she barely had any lines at all. I feel like in true. this entire show. The only standouts to me would be Obi and Mobius. That's it. That's it. That's it. And Loki, obviously. But well, the, and yeah. Sylvie just kind of like hesitantly like doesn't want to join the crew, yeah. right? But everyone else. But like, here yeah. in the Continental, everyone was memorable. Yeah. Because yeah. they first get that Gene guy, who's like that kind of southern drawl, kind of soft-spoken yeah. guy, who ends up being the sniper. He's I know, really. Cool. I know. Just seen that made Hector alive, bro. Yeah. At, wait, wait. Which one? What well, the mean? one where he goes to recruit him. And he's like, oh, shit. Did you just play me? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Dude, yeah, I yeah. know you laughed, bro. Dude, that was that funny. That was funny as Dude, shit. That was funny. That was funny. funny. The way he talks and everything yeah. is just yeah. so funny. So, yeah. So, the first person they, they obviously uh, recruit is, is Gene, right? Jenkins, right? Yeah. Where he is a talented sniper with a distaste for child molesters and an affinity for fine wines. Mm-hmm. And we we get, like, a clip of him, like, a scene of him of, of uh, killing a child molester, remember that? that yeah. Machine? I was like, oh shit! And yeah. how he was saying, "Yo, this shit's off." He's like, "No, man, you just need glasses." Uh-huh. And this is the part where they had the whole scene with um, I forgot his name. Was it Miles? Miles. Yeah, it was Miles. Miles is the guy. The yeah, brother. where he basically plays him, right? He's trying to recruit him <laughs> and stuff, and willingly Jenkins is like, "Yo, man, let's get it." And there's we also see some foreshadowing here, where he's like, "Yo, man, Gene, you got to find yourself a nice lady." He's like, "Hey, yeah. man, I'll." I'll how am I gonna find a lady who you know appreciates my work like him sniping and all this yeah. shit? And so I, th- he's a really memorable character. And then he bags Same a with baddie Lenny. later. Yeah, right yeah. at the at the. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Like this was like some foreshadowing mm-hmm. that that we got here. <laughs> um, that so that's yeah that's the first person, right? Um, and then he this is where I think he starts to um. Remember when Yen was like freaking out as well because she's like. I guess didn't believe that he died. Remember that whole scene mm. when the dojo scene where she was like freaking out, like or she was like, "Where's Frankie?" And then she realizes like, "Oh, like, no, or no, no." I guess he was. She was maybe thinking about like, "Where's his body?" Maybe. Yes. And then he saw that she was that Isn't he was cremated. Earth? Yeah, and he got pissed and. And I think this is isn't this. And the then she like tries to beat up Winston, and then she spares him. And then Lemmy was like, "So she's on the team, right? Like we're gonna need her." No, for sure. Bro. And I was like, yeah, because this bitch is like an assassin. Yeah. Um, so this is isn't this the episode that we get introduced to her backstory? Yeah. Or, so this, yeah. or, or is that the third episode? No, 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 no. The second episode, we see a flashback of her being a suicide bomber. Yeah. She goes into a bar to blow it up, but for some reason it doesn't go off. Uh-huh. And then she meets Frankie there. He's just there having a drink. And you assume that's how they first meet. And that's how they start the relationship. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Um, now, first time Yen and Frankie met in Vietnam. Yeah, she was a yes. suicide bomber, sent to blow up a bar full of American soldiers. Yes. The bomb didn't go off, but she did catch Frankie's eyes. That, yeah. And that's, yeah, essentially that's how it is. And obviously, we get some more background with K, uh, with KD, what's going on. And the, the other guy, I forgot the other guy's name, the, the other detective. I forget. Like, snooping around and trying yeah. to help her and stuff. Um, so, uh, yeah, we get that. And then uh, another big important moment is when um, Cormac's men show up at the theater looking for the press. Yen blows off a little steam by killing them all. We get yeah, the whole she fucking cool scene. slaughters them all. And she went back there to find um, a map of sketch of the Continental that Frankie did. And she ended up giving that to Winston. So that could be, you know, part of the... Uh, Plan Part to raid it to, inv- to, to take over the... Not co- take over, but just go in there and find Cormac and kill him. Yeah, right. And is this is this we also is this the episode that we get with the musician? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. Yeah. So here, so I'll get to it. So I got it right here. Oh, the the chalice. yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So I got yes. it right here. Then this this would wrap up the second episode. Um. So they're they're obviously creating the plan, right? And they come to realization that maybe they could use uh, Sharon, 
or Sharon. 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 Against um, Cormac. Because because uh, he was going to take the bus. But yes. then that bus was like rigged with Winston and uh, Lou. Yeah. And they make everyone, they kick everybody out the bus except for him. They're like, listen. And that's when Winston kind of gives him the breakdown. Like, listen, man, we want to take down this motherfucker because he's bad news. And he fucked me and my brother up. He's playing you. I know he is. You know why? Because he played me and Frankie. Yep. I know his tricks. I know his mind games. But we can take him down together. You just got to join us. And my thing was like, okay, at this moment, I'm like, okay, Sharon's going to help him. Because in John Wick 4, right, spoilers for John Wick 4, Lance Reddick, who plays older Sharon, yeah. ends up dying. Mm-hmm. And Winston was like, he was a good friend. And he will be missed. And mm-hmm. that's what he put on his gravestone. So I'm like, obviously, he's going to help him. Because that would be the start of the friendship between Sharon and Winston. Yeah. So when Sharon goes back and rats them out... I was like, what the fuck is... I was, yeah, bro. I, I was literally shocked. was like, Sharon, what the fuck, bitch? Yeah. What the shocked. fuck is because, you doing? Because as uh, Winston was uh, telling him all this, right? Because we find out like they have this dialogue on the um, rooftop with between Sharon and the Yes, the and cellist. the cellist, and Tomas. The, yeah. And, his name. and he was just basically saying, yo, I'm going here. I'm going to this new area, like a new opportunity. And he was kind of convincing Winston, yo, maybe you should, you should come through. You should come with me, or like, yo, blah blah blah. So and here's, it, now here's and, a question. Okay. Y'all think they were romantic? You see, the, this is the part he wanted to talk about. This is the part he wanted to talk about. Go ahead, Mario. I'll let you lead this. No, because when I was watching that scene too, I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> low key, bro. I was like, Ooh. are they into each other? And that's what I, that's kind of the vibe. I, I, I yeah. I'm on the boat that I think they were. Yeah, I, I think, think they so are. Too. No, yeah, it, it did it did uh it did seem that way, right? Mm. And so after uh that I'm. Cormac gets word of this. Then right? he finds out that he's trying to leave. They, that the, that the, what, the cello? The cellist? Cello? Yeah, that's it? the cello. That's what he was yeah, playing. Yeah, but is that, you, is that what it's called? A cellist. A cellist. A cellist. A cellist. Yes. 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 He finds out and invites him and stuff, right? Play me a and song. Play me a song, man. Right? He keep, obviously congratulates him. Oh, blah, blah, blah. And then he, um, the cellist admits that, oh, yeah, like, Sharon is like really, you know, loyal. I even told him to rise, to um, come with me. To come, to come with me and like seek for more and stuff like that but he didn't want to he was so stern on staying with you yep. and this kind of ticked him off and then I already knew what was, I already yeah. knew what time it was uh, of course I already knew what time it was especially the moment, the moment he walked in the room I said yeah I, I, already, I knew no but like I already knew how he was going to get whooped because there's a scene and I really like this man beautiful film work cinematography if you guys like paid attention and noticed is there's a scene where the camera zooms out and it's you see Cormac on the like on the left side, and then uh, the cellist in like in the middle, and then on the left side of the screen, everything is blurry from the, uh, at, the at the very um, that's far away, and then really close to the camera, you see a uh, a pair of uh, um, golf clubs and stuff, and I already knew it was, oh shit, we're gonna get he's gonna get jolted, yeah, mm-hmm. he's gonna get jolted. Don't remind bro. me, man. He said, don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm like yo he's gonna get Joel oh another thing too since we already mentioned about KD's backstory and how she was uh, her parents died with that mm-hmm. fire that you know yep. Winston and everyone if you go if you pay attention cause I noticed it too in the first episode but I didn't I was like okay whatever is remember that sex scene bro you could mm. actually see her like with her scars with her burn scars oh yeah you can yeah bro yeah you can not you could see her yeah. yeah it's like really subtle you could yep. see him like right here and I, when I saw the episode I'm like what is that I'm like oh, I'm just assuming just like I a thought sh- it was a rash no, you know what I thought uh, I was like oh my god it's probably like a rash or some shit like that <laughs> like I just I just thought it was like oh it's just her skin condition like something she was whatever. born with right yeah like yeah. alright whatever like something uh-huh. the actress had yeah, okay. like something. You know what I mean? That's what I thought. That's why I didn't mention anything. But then kn- knowing this, knowing that we f- what we find out in the third episode, I was like, I connected. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. what the fuck? But, um, so yeah. So after this, he's like, play, play me a song. Oh, this is called The Loyalty of the Masters or something. Mm-hmm. She starts playing the song. And as the conversation that Sharon's having with Winston, that's when um Cormac just jolts this motherfucker, bro. Yeah. And he's like, you're not going to steal from me and stuff like that. And, dude, oh, man, Brutal. I feel bad, man. Yeah, I felt fucked. bad, bro. It was fucked. Man, that sucks, dude. I felt so fucking bad. And so after this, right, Sharon arrives, right? Sees the, the body. And here you're thinking, oh, dude, like, once he sees this, he's going to be upset, obviously. And he's definitely going to side with the boys. Yeah. But then, like what I've said, no, nah, man, he just straight up told him, oh, Rats him out. He rats him out. 
right? They're forming a crew. For, they're forming a crew they're to kill you, kill you, sir, you. and all this shit. And then um, he explains, oh, he was trying to steal from me. And then after this, that whole little conversation, oh, I love you, kisses him and shit. Like, is it, pardon me, sir, like, if I might ask, like, who, what was he trying to steal from you? And he says, you. And I'm like, dang, that's hard, man. And that's how that episode ends. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing, Hop, I felt right? like I felt like Mel Gibson does a really good job of playing. Who's that? Who's that? That's Corman. Oh, that's it. Man. Javi's act. No, Javi. I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to let that slide. What? I'm not going to let that slide. Javi just. I'm not going to take. I'm not going to take that disrespect. <laughs> Javi just. I actually just said, who is that? And he just said, he like looked at me like I'm like idiot. Like, <laughs> oh. um, it's the dude who plays Corman. How am I supposed to know, man? Because it's Mel Gibson. I don't know. He's don't been know. in a bunch of action movies in over the years. I've, I've, only, I've only been in this serious film game for like a year, bro. <laughs> <laughs> No, but he's for been the pot, in other- like ever since the pot started, I fi- I barely got into this. But shit. he's been in other movies and shit. Yeah, but like, like I wouldn't may- like I probably recognize him, but like I wouldn't know his name. Yeah, same. Like, right. Come on, give me some slack, man. I don't know. I don't blame you. <laughs> he's like come. On, he's he's like I'm only like he looks- so I'm like somewhat to love a <laughs> hop, bro. Where like I sometimes know the name. Well, no, yeah, not. obviously I know like the big ones. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, yeah honest, exactly. Even if I I'm gonna be real with you. Like, I didn't know his. I'm gonna be honest. Like even the the people that I know, like the big ones and stuff. Like I only know it because of Hav. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, like when I was a kid, I didn't know me. Tobey Maguire was. I didn't know it was his fucking name. I thought I was like, oh, it's Spider Man. But he would bring it up. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay, cool. Even with like a like couple like uh, even with James Gunn, I didn't know who that. I didn't know that was his name. I didn't know who he was until he brought him up. So it's a bunch. Of, it's it's. So I'm learning. I learn a lot from this guy. But he, you can't just look at me like, <laughs> like what's going on here? Like, I don't know. what? Absolutely. Like, dude, he's been in a bunch of movies. I'm surprised you don't know this motherfucker. I probably not his name, bro. Like, probably not his name. He knows you the face, not the name. Face, then? He well, looks familiar. Saw- he just looked familiar. To yeah, me. Okay. yeah, same here. I but know not- the, I know the face, not the name. I'll take that. I mean, like sometimes like what, bro, what, play, what, what else uh, what other movies did he play in uh, I'm sure you know he obviously. was also uh, he was in Expendables 3 he played the villain on that too <sighs> yeah I and, he's also, and also like during the 80s like when Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, Sylvester Stallone they all yeah. had their action movies like shit going on Chuck Norris yeah. he was one of them too I mean I just, I mean, hey, Hav, you just can't roast me like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't like that. Slide, he can't roast me like that, man. Hell like, no. Look at me like I'm a like I'm a I'm an idiot, man. <laughs> I mean, kind of right. Well, I don't know these actors. I'm I'm only been in the game for a year, Hav. <laughs> Give me some slag. Don't worry. I'm a I'm a catch up, bro. Soon I'm gonna name everybody. Even the even the uh, the, the extras, extras. <laughs> like the extras that just show up for a millisecond. I'm gonna know them. But uh, anyways. So fuck, where, where was I? Um, oh yeah, he Joel's him. Yeah, right. He 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 fucks. And if you guys don't know what I mean by Joel's, right? You know, The Last of Us Part Two, yeah, the video yeah. game guys. Um, I was gonna say spoilers, but I mean, bro, if you it's been out the, for years. If you haven't played The Last of Us Two already, man, I saw you. That's on you. Like, come on, man. But then you know, I kind of feel that though, because there are some games that I don't want to get spoiled. I haven't played for in years. Oh, I'm getting ready, girl. <laughs> yo, chill. I'm like, yo, wow, it's gonna happen. What did he say? He said I'm getting ready. It's a, like spoil shit. For oh, me. aka <laughs> Spider Man. I don't know. Hey, Hav, relax, man. I'm gonna get there, man. <laughs> so okay, it's funny. It's fuck. Uh, so yeah, so he gets Joel, and and like I said, oh, that's how the episode ends. I forgot. And here's the thing, right? Because we find out this is how I took oh. it in the third episode is like that was a part of the plan. Like, for him to rat him out. Like, that was part of the plan. Third, the third episode shows that. Yeah, okay. It's because, okay. But I was like, come on. No, at first, yeah. And I was, I was like, like no. oh, okay. No, at first, yeah. When I saw him, like, no way. I think that just made it, like, even better, bro. Not yeah. Lie. Like, oh, you yeah. weren't expecting that. Even, like, him, like, seeing his fucking friend dead and shit. Mm-hmm. In reality, like, looking back on it, dude, they showed us that that was always the plan. After he said, oh, yeah. After what was he trying to steal? You, you see his face. That was, that that was the giveaway. But it, you only figure that out after the they execute the plan. Yeah, but it's just I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Really. So yeah, that's how this episode ends, guys. Uh, ra- uh, final quick little thoughts and then ratings. Mario, what do you think about this episode, man? What were you rated? Uh, I like how this episode was really on the characters, not so much the action. And they're and memorable, I, man. And like they were very said. memorable. Everything. Mm-hmm. Every single character, like are, you like they're them. all. Like, I actually all, like these characters. Man. All their plots, whether it's major plot, the, the side plot, or just a little tiny one, it all felt impactful in my opinion. And because of that, I think this one's gonna be my a ten for me. Ooh, okay, girl. That's different. I'm sw- I'm switched with him. This one I felt like was a nine. 
Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Shit. I think if there's a little bit more action, it'd probably been a 10, but I get it. This was like the setup episode. This is yeah. when we kind of got little backstories on all the characters. Again, like I said, there was like the recruitment episode. So now we got the whole team together, right? They get Gene, the sniper guy. They get uh, that lady who's yeah. the leader of the Bowery, and they get uh-huh. her homeless people along with it, which we know in the later movies, that Lawrence thing, Fishburne yeah. takes over that spot as the yeah. leader of the Bowery. But for some reason, this girl's this woman is is in charge in the 1970s. So they get, I, she's the one that starts it, right? I think she's so. the original creator. I think so. Who? That lady of the Bowery. Um, who, I'm trying to the homeless people. The, the the Macy girl? Yeah, she's the original one. And then what he said, the the the, the guy we see in John Wick takes over. I think so. Yeah, she has to be. It makes sense, right? I I don't know. I just know that I just figured they they'd be around if they're in John Wick. Yeah. Mm. But only yeah. in like so like when I saw that they were still around, I'm like, oh, oh okay. also I guess we forgot to mention too in the second episode, isn't that like when we get first contact with Macy? Or is that the second a uh, third episode? No. It's the third episode, right? Well, we get is, first contact. So Macy Like first contact as in like because remember they meet up one time they meet up first and so then he shoots them off who's Macy the, the leader girl, right the leader who leads the homeless yeah the men no, no that's the second like episode yeah. okay like episode. we forgot to mention that but that's, they happen and then um, she's he, not seeking for money exactly. out of the validation for helping uh, them out but yeah. rather love exactly and so the third episode that's when like we all get we together the Avengers yeah, type right. they shit. all assemble up that. and they start taking over the continental like alright yo it's D-Day yeah it's reps so, but before they get a fucking chance Cormac sends his people and kidnap Winston, and now he's in the fucking Continental. And it's like, ah, oh, the plan went to shit. <laughs> and I honestly thought, Thank like, you, yeah, bro. But and like, I honestly thought I was like, okay, so like, one of the other, like, I assumed because the because because the, the show, other than Winston being the main character. Wait, are we moving on to the third episode now? Yeah, we're here. I didn't yeah, get my rating. Say, oh, yeah. shit, that's right. How we just skip? Yo, how we disrespect me a lot? <laughs> how we disrespect me a lot lately, man? Yeah. He looking at me like I'm a, he looked at me, I didn't know this actor, like, I'm a, like I was a, like, a, like an infant, bro. Obviously, said Lawrence Fisher and Hector he was like, he ignored my rating. Hobbit, he, like, said it, eh. he said, if you don't even know this actor, man, it Get doesn't matter what here. you think of your yeah, rating. No, bad. but uh, I like this uh, episode. Um, a lot, man. I think I'm a uh, because I'm torn between this one, man. I, but I really like the characters, the build up, and everything. I'm gonna give this one a ten, man. Ooh. I actually like this one a lot too. All right. Anyways, okay, now we're back. Go, sorry. Uh, man. Oh, I said that the show, other than concentrating on KD and Winston as like the main players, yeah. Uh, they also concentrate a lot on Lou, on the sister and that girl. Yes. Yeah. So the whole thing about how she doesn't use guns; she only uses knives. Mm-hmm. And I like a whole and, and, philosophy and in the, behind that. And in the second episode, they teased a bit of like where. Miles knew the truth, mm-hmm. but where um, she didn't, she, she didn't. didn't, right? And she wanted to know the truth. And basically, the third episode, they basically reveal everything. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, uh, continue. But I thought that maybe because the plan went to shit and Winston got kidnapped, I thought like, oh, let me guess, Lou will be the one that's gonna lead the team. Like, hey guys, the plan didn't go as planned. Winston's in there, so we gotta rate it ourselves. Just go according to plan. And as for Winston's half of the job, he's already in there, kidnapped. I guess we'll figure it out. I thought that's how it was gonna go down. Yeah, but like nah, no, no. All of this was according to plan. I was like, no. They should have played the way. saw music. Yeah, they should have played it. Do, do, do. <laughs> In the speaker, the intercom, it's Lou. Be like, you thought, Corbeck. Do, 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 do. Right, right. Like that's how I felt, dude. That's what I. What's the uh, What's the line? The, it was a game or whatever that he says in the saw. Game uh, over. Game over. Like I want to play a game. No, I want to play a game. Said, you said in the in our review when we reviewed it, like game oh, over. I think it was I forgot. There, that was like the only two. I Those are the only ones I. Thought. I oh no! Play a game. Let, let's pl- there. There we go. I literally yeah. said that. You just. Let's I thought you said let's game, game over and or. Uh, no, I said play. both of them. Oh, I bad. said let's. Pl- I'm like, hey, I want to play a game, and then you said nah, and I said game. over. I was gonna say, what nah. if Javi said he goes on the intercom and he, what if he says that? Let's play a game. <laughs> I want to play game. Over yeah, yeah. <laughs> the g- game over. The game hasn't even started. You know, I'm in. <laughs> Dude, I was really, I'm like, I'm oh. out, but I'm in. <laughs> I'm like, like Cormac, I want to play a game, dude. Oh, no. Play right, because I'm, I'm on my betting shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking. Don't cheat. I'm not, I'm not looking. <laughs> Don't cheat, bitch. No, I know no. how you are. Don't That's talk funny. to me while, hey, it's like, he's like, you're you're going to die for this. Like, he's yelling at me through the intercom. So like, you're going to pay for this, all this. But, hey, don't talk to me while I'm betting, man. I can't multitask. <laughs> <laughs> I can't multitask right now. <laughs> you got me fucked up. And, hey, hey, don't, hey, man, hey, don't talk to me. I'm about to win a 500. I'm playing Alloway, too. <laughs> like, don't. 
I'm playing Alan Wake 2 at bed and and fucking with you, bitch. Hold on. I'm multitasking. Let me hear this. That's funny as fuck. I was like, we, hear, we just hear more uh, people dying and shit. Mario just like looks up from his bed. Oh, what? That's crazy. Right. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Cormac dead already? Oh, shit. Hold on. Hey, but this bed not dead. Hold on. Oh, shit. Whoa. No, he starts going. <laughs> That's actually funny as fuck. I hate Mario, bro. He doesn't look up. He doesn't watch this game when he streams, bro. Dude, that's actually funny as fuck. That was good, huh? That was funny. funny. But this bed ain't that. That's fat. That's some shit I would say, too. No lie. That's some shit I would say. Oh, man. That's so funny. Uh, That was was good. good But yeah, the third episode, right? We finally... uh, Winston finally... uh, gets in contact with Macy again and gets them to be on their side. Mm-hmm. Right. And he explains his story, right? That, you know, Yo, poor, pause real quick. I like, like how we just went from, <laughs> and you're like, okay. So I think that's what makes it raw. Man. <laughs> like, that, like, like, like really think about it. Like we were just going we crazy. Do, like we do that all the time. I yeah, know. But I'm just like, bro, we, we just went crazy. It's little like two minute joke tangent. Right. And then I just, like, like, I think, I, and then we're all just Macy. This seems okay. really impactful. Like, we all good. <laughs> We're all settled. <laughs> yeah. We put on our monocles and shit. Yeah. All right. All right. So let's we're get all, cooking. We're all smoking the, the little pipe cigarette thing. Whatever. I mean, fuck. bro. I, I mean, no, that's true. We do that all the time. But I think that's what, like, uh, I'm not trying to like, hey, I'm trying to be humble. You know. I ain't trying to flex. <laughs> but I feel like nobody yeah. does it like us. Bro. That's that's our flex, bro. Like the fact that we can fuck around like that and actually critique something mm-hmm. like on go and not have it be weird. Yeah, because that was. I think it's just our chemistry. That flowed, bro. That flowed. Yeah, but you continue. My my bad. I just wanted to bring that up. But yeah, uh, the whole Macy, uh, they meet up at at an old bank that's in that neighborhood, and Mm -hmm. he finally gives a story of what happened and stuff. And that whole scene, man, dang, that kind of hit, man. That they were poor, and how his mother was begging for money on his knees and stuff. They slept in the the trunk. It's like, you know where you're at. Yeah. It's like I clean the floors of where I'm at. Yeah. And I was like, that's crazy. Oh, man. And obviously, it's a heartfelt story, right? That, you know, Maisie's like, you know what? Fine. And she and he brings him these suits. And we're like, oh, what's going on? Oh, I don't like suits or whatever. He's like, well, consider them work clothes. And they finally get um, the men, uh, Macy's men and stuff, and they storm the Continental. And this is where... This is where they should wreak havoc, man. Hansel yeah. and Gretel running around. They do the little... What's that uh, What's that code again? Like, with the red code where everybody starts... Oh... Uh, um, Everybody starts going crazy, like finding the uh, the person that's not allowed on the gr- continental grounds. Uh, excommunicado. Yeah. Is that what was they, it? Is that? That, is that what it was, what it was called? I it's when you're declared. It's when you're declared like when they declare someone excommunicado, and when like, everyone comes at you and shit like. That. I, th- I thought that's like if you get kicked out of the ship, but since Winston was never a part of that. No. Yeah. No, not kicked out. Excommunicado really? means no. Excommunicado is when you break the rules of the continental. Oh. So they label you okay, as like the yeah, number one sense. like target for everyone to kill and shit. Okay, Damn. that makes okay. sense. And that's when Cormac goes on the intercom, freaking right, the intercom, and he's like, "Everyone, get the fuck out!" And then every fucking assassin that's in that continental, they all just come out. You see the twins. You see a motherfucker with a bow and arrow. You see these other people. I like how all the characters were all samurai people, and it's like, what's going on? Oh my god. Dude, I was getting hyped. I'm like, no way, we're getting a free for all right now. And sure enough, through like the security security cameras, is just wreaking havoc. Everyone's just killing each other. Like, wait, who do we kill? I don't know. Like, yeah, we'll kill each other. And so everyone's just <laughs> kicking each other's ass and shit. Yeah, because Macy's men were were disguised, right? As and, people too. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, that's true. And we get revealed of how they did that. You want to uh, mention that? Well, oh, just like because how... uh, this whole thing about like them wanting. To I like that the... shit. The way they revealed everything. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. like it was like some saw shit, man. Okay. It's cool, and when you recognize it, you're like, so "Oh cool, shit, that's man. why they're wearing the suits." Yeah, yep. yeah, because I mean, they were trying to get into the armory because they're like, "That's yep. the number one key right there. We need the guns, right?" And so Cormac got some cornered, got Winston and Sharon cornered yeah. in the hallway where the armory is. Yeah, and he call, and he pulls in with his peeps, right? Yeah. He's like, "Hey man, so fucking reps. Now light them up." Winston was like, "You thought." Yeah. And that's when the, all the people turn on him. turn on Cormac. Yeah, they're like, "This is my this is my crew right here." Yeah, damn. These are the nicest clothes they've ever worn. <laughs> Low key, right? Yeah. So, what do you mean? They Did got play- fleas right now. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, we'll wash the floors later. Yeah. But anyways, uh, and then that's when he's like, "So you like open up this fucking armory, which mean girl?" And that's when he turns the key. This one pissed me off, bro. Like, why didn't you take the key from him, man? Yeah. But anyways, go on. Because okay, he puts the key in, and he's like, fucking no, nobody's getting in. And he p- 
punches the keys yeah, of the fucking shits it, and he fucking it leaves the key and stuck inside the keyhole mm-hmm. and it's like now no one gets in and yeah. then that's when he turns off the fucking lights yeah you dude. just hear gunshots and all this bullshit that shit was fun. and the lights turn on and everyone's dead but winston and sharon and then Cormac just kind of. I'm surprised. Like, I'm surprised Sharon was like unscathed, man. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I was, guess uh, it was funny. I, no, but the way just, those the Macy's people got in was because they um they got in because later at the very end of the episode we find out that um Winston does eventually find the coin press and actually uses and that's what was his whole plan to get the suits mm-hmm. and get use the coin press to make the coins so that way Macy's men could sneak in by using the coins and stuff. Mm-hmm. And what I thought was really cool, because when we get that flashback, remember we get that flashback of the mother work about to go work and puts Frankie and Winston in that in her in car in the trunk in the trunk of the car. Damn, that shit was sad, right? But and the way they found it, because we get a scene where at the at the like maybe middle of the third episode where he, he goes back to um, where Frankie was like staying at or whatever, and he finds that old car, right? That I guess resembles. Um, like their mother's car where they slept in the trunk and we just see him just open it up and like that's it We're like, okay cool whatever and it's not until at the very end of the episode where it goes back to that moment and he starts talking well hey like sometimes the things you're looking for is right in front of you right and sure enough when he opened that trunk that's where frankie put the coin uh press was where they slept as kids yeah and to me i i love dude i just loved all that connections the, the reveals, full circle man. moment What'd you say? The full circle moment. Yeah, man. I just like, and it's done well, man. Mm-hmm. That's what. That's the thing. It's done well, and obviously here everybody's going crazy, right? Uh, everybody's shooting, <laughs> killing each other, and we get um, uh, we get that fight scene with Miles and um, what's it? Uh, 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 Lou. My, no, Miles, the, the the brother. Isn't that the brother? Right, and Miles. his sister comes in, and they both fight the male twin, Hansel. Hansel, I was thinking of that. I'm like, wait, which one's the which one's the Gre- Gretel's the chick, and then yeah. Hansel's the the, the, guy. the the guy, and they get that cool fight scene. And I will say though, there were some uh, like a moments where like, yo, what the fuck, <laughs> right? And I know I don't know if you guys might agree, but obviously Javi already mentioned it before that we that um, she finds out the truth of her father being part of the Continental and he had his own firearm. Right, and then we got that whole mini subplot with the with the Asian um, with the Chinese man and the whole Chinatown situation, mm-hmm. and how that she learns that her father actually killed the people who owned that dojo yeah. and moved in, and so like, dude, that was oh, that must have sucked, bro. Believing mm-hmm. that your dad like, oh, like, don't use guns. Uh, you only use these type of weapons to protect and whatever. You have the choice, right? She said that with a gun, y- you don't have a choice, right? With death or whatever. But with your knives or weapons, you do have a choice mm-hmm. or something. And her finding out that her father killed the people that was that was living there and took over, and it's like, dude, what the fuck? Like that must suck. The irony, man. Yeah, right. And obviously that. So her father had a custom gun, right? And there's, obviously there's like a little boy that's like missing an arm or some shit, and it's kind of like taking care of him because I guess he gets abused by that um, by that guy, mm-hmm. by that mobster, or whatever. And he basically takes um, takes him uh, to this like van. I think is a van where they have the like, operations outside of all the cameras and shit of the Continental. Yeah. He's like, "Yo, here." She's like, "Here, watch him. I gotta go to the Continental, see what's up," and leaves his gun there. And obviously, foreshadowing even at the beginning of the episodes, the little boy is like, "Oh, some things just speak to me," or whatever. Where he just be grabbing shit. Yeah. And so at this moment, this cool fight scene that we have with uh, with Hansel and then the Miles and the and the sister, the Hansel guy fucking him up, man. He's legit about to kill him and stuff. Uh, he got uh, he legit stabbed like a like a broken broomstick on the on the Miles, and then he's choking the other girl with I don't know I don't know what it was. It was the thing you said for, for for pool, where you put him in a triangle. Oh oh yeah 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 yeah. It's choking her out, and so at this point, oh shit, he's he's going crazy, right? Mm-hmm. And then at the and then there's a vent yeah. of the little boy that comes out. And we're like, what the fuck? I'm like, is she just seeing this shit right now? And the little boy takes the gun because it kind of foreshadows, right? Because once, uh, like I mentioned, she leaves a boy with that guy in the van and leaves a gun. There's a camera shower. It zooms out. Where, and then you see the boy looking at the gun. So you already uh-huh. know foreshadowing. Oh, there's gonna he's going to use it or something. And I thought this was the moment, right? But, and I thought he was going to like shoot the guy or something, you know? With his one hand, 
But no, this uh, this dude legit just so happens that this vent is right above her. Yeah. And just drops the gun, and the gun just magically is perfect enough to where she's able to grab it like this. Yeah. And shoots. I think that is one scene where I was like, Yeah, I know, bro. Where I was doing this. Yeah, same here. What's going on? I was like, no, oh my God. That's the yeah, John Wick uh, magic right there. There's two things that have that in this episode that made me go like that. Where I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> what was the second one? Uh, the second one? I want to see the so, same. Well, first off, what, how, what did you think about that? You also were like, I didn't think much of it. Really? <laughs> out of, yo, yo, no, 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 no. Out of how, yo, it's crazy because how be critiquing shit, but out of shit like that, it's like, yeah. That's passable. Yeah, I know, right? What, dude? That's crazy, dude. Yeah. That's crazy to me, man. No, yeah. guys. If, if you guys are li- obviously, if you guys are listening to us, man, you clearly saw the content of it. Come on, I cannot. Mario and I cannot be the only ones that thought that was kind of like strange, cheesy, cheesy. Kinda That's cheesy. what it is. It's, like, it's cheesy. Okay. It's like very like, she, like it would have been cool. Like okay, I'll give it to him, right? If whatever the kids there in the vent, whatever, and shoot and shoots him, but like just drops a gun and hop, just magically like able to hold it like perfectly like i've seen movies do that a hundred times it's no different i'm just numb to it i'm just like oh yeah typical like i've seen it before but that's my thing like it typical doesn't always mean good right Mm -hmm. so to me i i wish they would have done that part differently i thought that was a bit like too cheesy too coincidental i'm like all right like what so happens of an event to be like right 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 Mm -hmm. above her the kid just drops the gun and just <laughs> yeah. magically it spins. Actually, it we spins. see it yeah, do it like three spins, Slow and motion. it just magically spins perfectly. It like glides to her hand. It glides to her hand. Yeah. That's crazy. That's some yeah. crazy shit. So that was one thing. I was like, "What the fuck?" I'm like, "Okay, whatever." I mean, everything else is raw, but I'm like, "I'll let that slide." Yeah, same here. And it wasn't until um, the second part that made me feel like, "What?" Like, okay, like I kind of saw it coming already, and I was like, "Please don't do this." And it did it. And I was like, oh, my God, why did they do that? And he probably might not even agree either. But I'm more curious if you're going to agree. Is when we finally get that face off with Yen and uh, Gretel. Mm-hmm. Right? Where they do the typical, you know, stuff. Oh, yeah, we finna fight. Like, no guns, no explosives. Let's mm-hmm. get it, bitch. All right. right? Yeah. And they're doing their fight thing. Everything's cool and stuff. And it's not until, like. Yen like flips over her or something mm-hmm. and like kind of you hear like a break on her leg so like she's laying on her stomach and it's her right leg I think or her left leg completely over her and and it looks all fucked up and she just magically like starts yeah, like, bro. Okay, yeah. <laughs> come on Marvin, tell me tell me bro dude yeah. but that should happen I was hold like, on hold I'm on like, you don't feel some pain at least no like I get it no here's the thing cause I knew I knew it wasn't done right yeah. I knew I thought oh cause she maybe dislocated her shit right cause yeah. we see throughout the uh, the, she's the very show flexible. she's like flexible like there was one point where they were loading up fucking Lord of the Farquaad like loads up his gun looks over and, and she she's like, like she's on the splits on the couch no that's cool like I don't care about that yeah. right yeah but then, so they they hint it, right? Mm. So this part where it seems that like she's doing like a scorpion, like you know what I'm talking about, like a scorpion, mm. where her foot's just straight like this, and then she does a thing where like she does like a ring horror shit, right? Oh, you know what I'm talking about now? Now I know. Yeah, Javi's lost Vaguely. his whole team. Uh, we could we could run it back. We yeah. could run it back after um after this, so I could show you what I mean. And maybe, yeah, yeah. This is where she, like her feet go over. Yeah, because she, she she's like yeah, because she's like on her um on her stomach, and like Yen like does this thing where it grabs her leg and like flips her, and you hear this snap like crack yeah. and shit. And uh-huh. we're like, oh shit, right? And so she's on her floor, on her on her stomach, and her leg. I think it's just one leg. Is it? I think it was one. I leg. think it's just one leg is over her completely, like like, like a see, like like, like scorpion. Mm-hmm. And to me, I'm like, she's fucked. To me, no, actually. I knew she wasn't gone, right? I knew this was going to happen. I thought that was the end of the fight. No, dude. I was like, oh, no, she dude. won. No, I had a feeling, dude. I'm like, oh, no, because I went, I thought back of the foreshadowing and like scenes where like she was super flexible. She was doing this and Bro, stuff. I saw that, but I'm just like, in my mind, I'm like, there's no way they, get out, they, they can get out of that. Like, like remember she was also it. choking a dude with yeah, her foot? Yeah. So anyways, so they show that and I'm like, no, I'm like, stop, like, don't do this. And she does it. She like does this little ring shit, and she even does a, a reverse like a scorpion, where like she, which I thought was gonna happen. Where uh, how do I explain that? Where she actually gets up like, yeah. like the Walking Dead, mm-hmm. like a zombie. Yeah. And she was like like doing this, and oh, I did not like that. I was like, oh, why'd you mm-hmm. do that? Like we didn't need that. Like 
I don't know. I thought I was just cheesy, man. I was like, I oh, what the? To fuck? me, it was just like, like I'm like, I get it. Like she's flexible. Yeah, but like, like why? extremely flexible. Like, I, I don't want to like yeah. under undermine it. Yeah. But it's like, bro, <laughs> your leg should be broken right here. Like you should be like limping. And she gets yeah, up from that, like walks, like nothing happened. I'm like, no, no once we, I will put it pain. back, bro. Once we see it, it's crazy. It bro. is crazy, yeah. yeah. And and I I just I don't know. That was like another. That was those were the only two moments where I was like, what? Like, In the entirety I, I of the show for me. Well, I'm like, why? Like, why do they do that? I mm. wish they would have done that uh, mm. differently. But everything else, cool. Right, so after that, they do like they still fight. Yeah, they're in the pond situation, mm-hmm. and we got some stabs going. And the fucking um the uh, Gretel, right? Gretel chick yep. comes out like unscathed, like oh shit! It turns out that she has that vest on, and that, yep. and that chick blows up, uses a C four and blows her, and you can see that shit right there. Mm-hmm. That shit was pretty cool, right? And so w- those two guys are out. The twins, they're gone, right? And now I have already mentioned about what we find out with um, with D uh, KD yeah about her situation. We find out with that right, mm-hmm. and so now <laughs> fucking Cormac goes into the operations room right, and <laughs> remember he like beats the he kills the other dude, like what? <laughs> It's because the other dude's like, yo, I have an algorithm of like. <laughs> algorithm of the, never, never doesn't have No, like he says, I have an algorithm of like the opposing team, like yeah. success rate or something. And then the dude, Cormac, is like, whose side are you on? Yeah. <laughs> He's funny. like, hey, numerals are, I forgot who said. No, uh, numerals some, are imperial or. Yeah, they're. Or, uh, or, 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 uh, they're I forgot what he said. Subjective. Something like that. Yeah. Basically, numbers don't lie. Yeah, that, right? yeah. Fact, numbers don't lie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so, throughout this, like, scenes of, like, uh, Hansel dying and then Gretel dying, they're all seeing this. And then the guy, the guy's, like, a sports commentator. Whoa, what was that? He's like, wow. Like the a, numbers could have never predicted like, this. Like, a, like, unsuc- like a, a, a crazy outcome that shouldn't have happened or something. Yeah. And Cormac just got pissed. He's like, man, how about this outcome? <laughs> <laughs> he just beats yeah, the fuck. Bro. He beats the fuck out of him. He's, he just it was him. brutal, bro. Dude, I feel bad, bro. Like, why do you got to kill like these innocent motherfuckers, bro? I don't know, man. You know? And so, so after all this, he's like, you know what, man? Fuck the high table. Fuck this shit. Cause he's trying to call them. Mm. He's like, man, I need your help and stuff. And cause with that chick, and I forgot we met, I forgot. I think this was, Third episode when he was eating. Yeah, is it third episode? Second I episode? think it's the or, like, third. They like the beginning. That she has like a fucked up face. Oh, yeah. Second episode. Second oh, episode. Second I episode. Second. Okay. Like I was like I was curious about my oh shit I want to see how this I thought they were never gonna show it. Yeah, that was right. my worry. I was like, no, they're not like, gonna yo, show it. I want to see how this bitch looks like. What the fuck? Like Freddy Krueger looking at bit man. Mm-hmm. What the hell? I'm still here to know. I mean, what? Whoa. Yo, how so... can she talk if her face looks like that? Yeah, right. On uh, some like. How do you pronounce? Yeah, without your lips. Yeah, dude. I don't, I don't know. know. How do you pronounce certain words? I don't know. You can't. How do you say? They, how, do you, how do you say mom? It's a real. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, you can't. Uh, no, obviously they just did it for whatever. Yeah, but. yeah I know. I was just funny. I thought that yeah, was the right? funny thing. I was like, but, oh, so she's Baraka from Mortal yeah, Kombat? Yeah. For real. No yeah. lips, Baraka. <laughs> Baraka. That's yeah, funny. that's facts. <laughs> and so, and so obviously, uh, Cormac was like, you know what? Fuck this shit. We are all going to hell anyway. I'm out. And he decides to self-destruct the building. Yeah. Which was crazy. Yeah, which was crazy. Everybody's like trying to figure out what's going on. And Cormac is trying to go away in this escape train pod situation. And Winston fa- like manages to find him. And this is where uh, KD pulls up. You know, because we also get that scene like explaining like uh, where we find out, you know, what happened with KD, which you mentioned. And KD's about to kill his ass, uh, Winston. And then that's when um, Gene ends up uh, saving him by like mm-hmm. hitting her. I forgot where. Yeah. And and he finally tells her the truth that hey, I didn't know there was people in there. Blah blah blah. Like actually, I'm the one who threw it and stuff and whatnot. And then I, I guess we should talk about Gene, right? Gene is finally getting like <laughs> Gene is having this romantic partner finally with yeah. this, uh, with that one chick that they uh, owns the apartment. Owns that the owns apartment. the apartment because he needed that apartment to to snipe. Yeah. yeah. And they're, he's having a, like a normal conversation while she's all tied up and shit. And I already knew I'm like, okay, this is his like, this is what's gonna happen because mm-hmm. they foreshadow that in the in the beginning. Um, so anyways, back to Winston with the, with Cormac and the, the escape pod. Um, he, Katie pulls up, and that's where uh, Katie herself hears that Cormac said, "Yeah, I knew there was people in there, and you were supposed to do. I did what uh, I told you what to do. Blah blah blah, whatever." And then that's where Katie hears that. And she's like, man, she gets pissed. And like, it's acting like he's going to shoot Winston, but shoots Cormac mm-hmm. and fucking kills him, bro. Shoots him in the head, bro. That's crazy, and that's man. that's the end of Cormac. After all that work, Winston wasn't the man that killed Cormac. 
Man, I, sure he's dead, but me, I'd have been like, dang, I should have killed that motherfucker. <clears throat> he killed my brother. What type? Well, kind of technically. He, yeah, he ordered the the hit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Katie's like, all right, well, be seeing you. She just walks away. And it's Maybe like, she appears in future. I'd have been like, no, babe, come on, like don't leave. Hell no. Nah. Right? No, doesn't she become part of the Continental now? No. Uh, no, oh. she just leaves. Oh, right? she just leaves? Mm-hmm. Oh, never mind. Yeah, that's, this is, that's it. We, she just leaves. Winston and Sharon are the only characters that we see in yeah. future installments yeah. in the John Wick movies. Everybody else are new. And then, know, so that's what them. happens there, but I forgot to fucking mention, during that fight with Hansel and shit, Lemmy, man. Yeah, I was about to bring it up. I was like, yeah, yeah go ahead, forgot. Marty, take it away, man. I was going to say, because Lemmy man. is in like the, I don't know what you would call it. He's like a mail room. Like mail room, some shit, shit where you, there's like tubes throughout the hotel where... They shoot it, up like they the, shoot up just le- letters to for like people. if it was like a chase bank. Like yeah, for real. Little yeah, <laughs> exactly like that. Imagine that. And yeah. uh, Cormac was no, it was a Cormac. It was Hansel who sends a grenade down there. down there. And Lemmy, uh, sadly, what Lemmy was doing, he was he was mailing C four to like different places and blowing up yeah, different areas. Other him, man. Yeah. yeah. But Hansel sends a grenade to Lemmy, and yeah, unfortunately, yeah. because I don't know what the fuck, there was like something he. He, they couldn't warn him because of yeah, something yeah. was stopping. Like it was stopping the radios; they were fucking up. And uh, Lemmy never gets the warning. And as soon as he recognizes the grenade, it blows up and it's a wraps. Man. It's a wraps, bro. He, and I thought he died for sure. And it wasn't until like Winston manages to get there in mm, time, just before, before he, he died. Got, yep. You know, and and he dies, man. So far, he's the only. He's man, the only one. He's the only character in the that group dies. that dies yep and that sucks man i really fuck with let me man he was funny mm-hmm. um so hey, that when you were watching that whole thing did you think the old guy was gonna die like someone was gonna come up from behind and kill him i uh, yes i thought Dude, someone was gonna yeah. come up behind him and and i knew someone was gonna come behind him I'm like but who right and yeah. he was gonna have to fight and shit but then like that moment where he like he hears shit and he turns around I'm like oh here's a, here it is i wasn't expecting for it to be the, uh, I, the me woman, neither the woman. Right? Me yeah, neither. i wasn't expecting it to be the woman i was like oh shit i think because i think out of all of them bro I was like, I don't want him to die. Because nah, he made me laugh, and I actually He's really funny, fuck yeah. with his character. The He's whole, cool. like, oh, did I just get played? Like, the way he talks. <laughs> yeah, the way he like, talks like is like fucking him. hilarious to me. And, and even after the whole incident, right, yeah. uh, fucking the woman is like, oh, like, actually, it's like, I didn't even like, I've been here for 25 years. Uh-huh. I didn't even like those guys anyway. I know, I, I didn't like the hotel. Yeah, I didn't like the hotel or whatever. Yeah. And so now he got a date. They're about to go yeah. to a, like a it's botanical a, garden or some yeah, shit like something that. Yeah, like that. You know, so he he said, man, yeah. a woman that appreciates his sniping skills, mm-hmm. what he was looking for, man, and his uh, love for plants and yep. shit, right? So after this, right, Winston is obviously uh, not Winston. Uh, Cormac is dead. Winston is able to stop the countdown mm-hmm. by like couple like three like, seconds, bro, yeah, or some barely. shit. By using the hand of Cormac because he cut that bitch off. Like he pulled a Herschel, reverse mm-hmm. Herschel, for real. I he thought doesn't know. He doesn't know. What I, I just said for real. I was like for real. Like just a good. Damn, I was looking at you because I thought you'd react, but what you don't know? I, I, oh, I, I no. couldn't react because I heard him say for real, and I was too distracted to be like. I was just trying. I was like, I was like, fuck. I understand it. But oh, like, you don't know? Real. Wait, he hasn't seen the. You haven't seen the Walking Dead? I stopped after the, like. I think they. It was like the first season they got to the prison. That's when first I first season after after the after the prison. You're saying? Or, yeah. So like, after I, the prison saga. Yeah. No, no, no. Like after, like once they got to that prison, like that first season of that prison. After that, I stopped. Oh shit! Damn. Re- Wait, no. Then, then you, then he knows the reference, not. Huh? When did that happen? Like how long was that? Then? Oh shit! Damn. Oh well. Mm-hmm. I mean, sh- okay. Well, I mean, I don't care. Yeah, but what if people? What if what if people don't maybe get? It? I mean, if you haven't seen The Walking Dead now, guys, I don't know what the fuck. I've been saying it's on. Do you me. remember Herschel? The, the the old guy, Herschel's farm. Yeah, he the, the white guy, old guy. Yeah, remember? So he got bit in his leg, and so they chopped it off. Oh yeah, they did. You remember that? No, but now that you oh. told me now. Yeah. Oh, how do you know? Oh, you just heard about it and shit. What? Oh, what like, how'd you know? You said, oh yeah. He, didn't you just hear him? He said, oh yeah, they did. Like, how'd you know? What do you mean? Oh yeah, he you did. just told me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, no, what? No. no. No, bro. I'm happy to have <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Hector walked out the room. I'm having too many combos like this one. You said, I said, oh yeah, like, oh yeah. I meant it like, oh yeah. Not like, oh yeah, like I know. I didn't mean it like that. Javi, <laughs> Javi, me to get. No, 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 explain, explain. Or, or, explain. I can't get through him. I don't know what's going on. What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? 
I literally I'll just said, oh, Herschel. Remember him? You're like, the, yeah. The veterinarian. No, shut up. The veterinarian. I literally, I literally just said Herschel, right? Yes. You remember him? I'm like, yeah, okay. The veterinarian, they, yeah. He got bit and they cut off his leg. And yeah. you literally just said, oh, yeah, they did. And I'm like, oh, so you so knew. you've heard of it. So you heard of it. And you said, no. <laughs> yeah, because I'm just like, you told me right now. But you, no. <laughs> no, no, way, no way. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. No. Stop. Javi, this ain't real. This is not real life. Right. Because I was like, you, I was like, I was like, no, I never heard of it. But you, I was like, oh yeah, like oh, I just remembered. Because <laughs> you, <just, laughs> you remind me, you remembered. I forgot, and then percent. you told me. I was like, oh yeah, he did get his bit leg, his fucking thing shot off. But how'd you know? How like when? What, what did you remember? Did you see that at the farm? That's like the second. That's the first season, right, or the second one? No, no, he gets his f- leg chopped off, before, like after you had stopped watching the show. Oh, I thought that happened no. in the farm. I was like, because I remember the, they, no. had, they had zombies no, in the but farm. Still, it, does, it still doesn't explain. Oh, it's, no, 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 stop. Uh, it still doesn't explain why you just said, oh, oh yeah, they did. And I'm like, oh, how'd you know? Well, it was like, oh, I don't know, whatever. It doesn't explain that you said right now, but you just, I know because you just told me. No, no, okay. It just, still doesn't explain No, that. I thought that happened in the farm. I'm like, oh, I'm like, I remember there being zombies in the farm. And I remember there's like a scene where they're like all panicking outside the farm. And we're like, they're like running or some shit like That's because that. they let the dead out. Right, I'm assuming, barn. I was like, oh, maybe he got bit. I'm like, oh, that probably does make sense. Yeah, I remember you that. Said it, you said, oh, yeah, they did. Like, oh, yeah, they yeah did. because at that like, point, like I, that's, what I, like, that's what I was thinking. That what I just told you. You thought it happened in season two. But yeah, that's why. Well, cl- dude, that was crazy, man. <laughs> that's why. Right, Hop, I wasn't going crazy, no. right? No, <laughs> we, we had our, I, had, we, I no, hadn't the timetables no. mixed up. But it still doesn't make sense for you to be like, oh, yeah, they did. I'm like, oh, so you remember? No. <laughs> that doesn't yeah, make sense. No, because I. Like, oh, so you it knew. Doesn't make no. te- it doesn't make sense because I had it mixed up. Dude, because I'm gonna move on. Because this is like the third time I had a combo like this with him. Like, <laughs> last time was with uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's shit. Yeah, but like, no, what do you mean? I bagged myself one out. No, but like right here, like right how I wasn't going crazy. No. What that, that whole conversation? What just happened? <laughs> no, no, you listen weren't. to the comments, uh, guys. Comment down below, man. Like, who's nah, tweaking? Not, nah, I, I thought that happened during that farm, that whole farm scene. <laughs> Oh, didn't someone die in that see. farm shit? Or had someone... Because that, uh, that show, someone's always... Because all I know about Walking Dead is no, that they yeah, kill bro, off the yes, entire... They, they, they kill off the entire cast. It doesn't make sense for you to reply that you knew. Like, you said, oh, yeah, they did. Like, if you knew and you remembered. And they asked you, oh, no, so no, you yeah, remembered? Yeah, yeah. Nah. Like, <laughs> what? What does that mean? No, nah, I get you, trust me. I get you now. <laughs> no, no, I just, no, I just, listen, I, I just listen assume... Listen back to this moment. Listen yeah. back to this moment, bro, and you're going to be like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, no, I get you what now. what the fuck? I just assumed that happened in that farm, the, when they were at the farm. Okay, but... Because yeah, I remember so, that. So, I knew they had zombies in there. I'm right. like, oh, probably someone got bit so anyways, or some shit. I said reverse Herschel, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm assuming that happens after the prison. <laughs> That's kind of funny though, without making up these names. <laughs> like, like you got reversed Herschel. Because I dead ass thought I thought Herschel died at the, at the end of that shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. No, bro. No, no, bro. He survives. He's in prison, bro. I didn't know that. I completely forgot. I'm mean, motherfucker. You you stopped watching it during that time. You should have yeah. known. Like he's there. Nah, I he thought he died. Bit, and then they cut off his leg. So anyways, he reversed Herschel, right? Uh-huh. Uh huh. Cormac. So instead of cutting off his leg, he cut, cut off his, his hand. hand. Yeah. So. <laughs> So that's how yeah. he stops it, right? And then what? We're at the end, right? We're finally, mm-hmm. we're finally uh, at the end. Uh, fucking Winston is like, Sharon is like, yo, me gonna see your father. All this different stuff. Everybody's happy. All the lockdowns are saved. The, the, the tower didn't um, collapse. Didn't collapse. And then he finally uh, walks out, and we get the adjudicator, uh, uh-huh. I think, right? Which is that chick with the mask. She's like, oh, really impressive. Like you managed to. Uh, take control of the continental but you know the continental is not yours mm-hmm. you know what are you gonna uh, plus the high table won't even speak to you you're not in that caliber bitch you know and i and this is where uh i think um i forgot how i forgot it was so badass bro but i forgot how it fucking happened where um basically winston was like no i'm gonna do it my way or like my terms mm-hmm. or whatever and just really quickly shoots shoots her in the fucking chest and shoots her in the fucking head man I wasn't expecting that. Me I neither. Like, I was like, whoa, what the fuck? I didn't think he'd go that far. And she just fucking falls back, bro. And her mask, Ooh, this is the first time we finally see her face too. now. Her, She finally falls down. Her mask falls off a bit. And we see her face, bro. And it looks like uh, like Baraka, bro. Her whole jaw is like gone. 
like but even her like skin like like the like, skin too yeah the skin and she, it, like it's, it's literally just like the raw body <sighs> and it's the teeth dude it looked it looked it, essentially like baraka man yeah that's the best mm. way to describe it mm-hmm. except like the teeth were like normal yeah like not baraka crazy shit yeah, yeah. i didn't you think it was all mean? that crazy um what do you mean you didn't think that's like face really it's, it's because he's used to baraka bro danny's right here bro Hold on. Hey, oh uh, continue, continue to review. How, how it is and stuff like that. Uh, so basically, after Winston shoots the adjudicator, he goes back into the hotel and claims it is his. And then we see this cool shot where the camera pans up to the top room of the hotel, and it's Winston kind of mm-hmm. like taking charge as the owner. And what I really like, if you notice, he's wearing like the suit, and he's got like that drink in his hand. Yeah. You know how in the John Wick movies, Ian McShane's Winston mm-hmm. is in that same suit with the collar, no tie. No oh, I, tie. I didn't notice that. I yeah, didn't notice that. It's the same outfit because he wears the same like outfit. It's a black suit. And all the movies or just the first one? No, in all of them. That's oh, his shit. suit. Like that's what he wears because he's the owner. So he's wearing, he's rocking the same fit, and he's drinking little like a little scotch in his hand, and you just kind of see him like overlooking the hotel, and it just kind of ends like that. Hell nah, bro. And I was like, damn, bro, that's crazy. No, that's fucking. I no, I didn't pick that up because with those movies, have like yeah, John Wick was this year before, right? Was this March. year? But dude. And shit like that, I it, like I always forget it. Like a couple months, like a month or two after, like little details like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would only have to, uh, I would have to rewatch it in order to no- to notice that detail. But what's it called? No, that's cool that they added that. That he, that ever since he took over the hotel, that he was wearing the same suit and he was drinking. Yeah, bro, that he thing. just wears the same shit. Fuck you, Danny. Sorry, Danny. Danny's just in the in. room, bro. Danny's in the room. He just Danny's flashed his dick. Fucking gay ass motherfucker. <laughs> Danny's <laughs> in the room. Yeah, you see? Uh, oh yeah, you are wait, right. Wait, what are you? Wait, what? Are you so doing? I said that after he kills uh, the adjudicator, he takes yeah. the Continental as his own. He becomes yeah. the owner of it. He mm-hmm. takes Cormac's place. And there's that shot where he's like drinking scotch. He's looking out the balcony. And I pointed out to Mario that his outfit. The suit and the shirt, the white shirt, the collar, mm. is basically what he wears in the John Wick movies and the later in the later movies. Oh, it is. So he wears the same fit. It's like kind of like notice. a symbol, a, like kind of it's like symbolism. Yeah. Of being like, oh, like now that he is the owner, because we meet Winston in the John Wick movies as the owner of the New York Continental, and this is obviously the show where he's not the owner. But obviously, now that we see him take over, he has the suit. Now it's like, okay, now there is the start of the Winston that we see exactly in the current time in the John Wick movies. Yeah, okay, am I the only one here? Did we think we were gonna see a John Wick cameo? No, it wouldn't make sense. Or am I crazy? Because he would be he a kid. Been, he'd be young or something. Yeah. yeah. I'm not gonna uh, lie to you. Remember that theory that we brought up in John Wick Four when we uh, reviewed it that Winston could have been John Wick's a uh, dad. Mm-hmm. I thought. You know, oh, you said John Wick could have been uh, his dad, his son. Like his, he would have been the dad. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, low key. There was like a theory that like Winston was John Wick's I could dad. See so I thought we were gonna see like a pregnancy test or like how he hooks up with that one chick in the first episode. Oh. I always thought we were gonna see something, but like nothing. So either so maybe the theory's wrong. But I thought we were gonna yeah. see something like a little, like a like, little. Dude, can you imagine if like he's in the Continental, right? He just becomes the new owner, and then you see someone walk in, checking in. Like he's, in, like, he's a, like a recruit, a, like a new one, like a newcomer, yeah, like a newcomer, or like it's like. But it's someone with the same hair, the beard, and everything, and it's like a young Keanu. Oh, that would be cool. That would be. And cool. it's like it's like, and then you see. And he, no, he comes to play. He's like, "Welcome to the Continental." It's like, "What's, what's your name?" It's like, "What's the name?" Wick. That would right. be wrong. <laughs> that would be wrong. And that that's how it up. ends. I think I, I that, honestly that, was like, I was holding my breath. I was like, we're gonna get a John Wick cameo, but like, no. dang, nothing, bro. Nothing. No, maybe in like a like another prequel that's like more that would make more sense timeline wise. Yeah. Where like, oh, it makes sense that he would be this age around this time. So, okay, so so that's that's essentially how this ends, man. Mm-hmm. So final like final quick thoughts, and then your ratings for this episode, and then overall. So this episode, and then an overall. Yes. Rating. Oh, you go off. Yeah, go ahead, off. So, uh. Uh, I thought the episode finished strong. I like that this was uh, uh, that this episode was kind of like 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 I said earlier. It's like D Day. It's like the shit was going down. We we're gonna raid the Continental, the hotel, and like the action, everything was on point. I felt like the acting was on point. The different storylines, the whole free for all uh, thing going on, where all the assassins came out to play. Uh, the uh, the the things the the final scene that goes down between Cormac and Winston yeah. and KD I felt like was really good it was done very well 
Uh, I thought it was just this whole episode was just good from beginning to end. How everything was according to plan. Obviously, yeah, man. Lost, the you know, reveals, how, everything. Everything just kind of went according to plan. The action was there. The Everything was just John Wick. Everything, I just, I felt like this entire show overall never lost the John Wick touch. Never lost the John Wick flavor. Where it was just like, it, the action was there. The cinematography, the act, like the fighting. Yeah, man. All of it was just there, bro. For me, I think this episode was probably other than the besides the first episode it's probably my my favorite episode of the three so i would give this episode a 10 out of 10 but overall i'd give the entire show a 10 out of 10 hey man he's with like me. i like hearing that, me, um, i love hearing that i agree everything which is how i've said it, right? like, i don't know if i could add on much to that but that it's like I, the, the only, theme with every part right the only thing yeah, exactly maybe i should start going first <laughs> Hell no. but uh that's funny but uh, I will say that obviously there was some, I was kind of skeptical, right? To where we're branching off from the original John Wick movies to spinoffs and such. And I was worried that, you know, it might not capture that John Wick feel. But this show so far definitely captured that. Mm -hmm. And no joke, it gets me excited and more hyped for future spinoffs. That takes place in this world. Well, we already are. We we already are going to get a John Wick five. We are. Yes, they oh, confirmed fuck. a fifth. But who's going to be I the know. new? I know what you're. Th yeah, I know. I don't know that they confirmed it. I'm We're getting John Wick. It. Fuck you, man. Come on. No, man. no. If they bring him back, call bro, me Hob Wick. If they brought out, if, if, wait. If they brought, if they brought back John Wick, would you be happy or sad? I mean, or, or annoyed? I'm gonna be honest. In a storyline point of view, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, because he dies. Yeah, man. So how's how's he gonna get brought back unless early a, John Wick? Unless it's a prequel. Nah. But then again, Keanu's getting not getting any younger. That's what I'm saying. Unless they pull a Saw X. Oh yeah, this takes place in 2002. Yeah, you know. What Tobin I mean? Bell looks old as fuck though. Type shit. Yeah. But here's the thing: storyline, it doesn't make sense. Like, why have a fifth when mm -hmm. he died in the fourth one? It felt like a nice ending to the chapter. Why did we get Toy Story four when three felt like a perfect ending to the trilogy? Mm -hmm. But we we got a four, right? And they're making Toy Story five. Fun fact: we <laughs> confirmed that. But my thing is like. Based on how good the John Wick movies are, bro, one through four, having a fifth doesn't make sense. But I'll still take I'm it. A, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm watch still it, take it. I'm gonna see what's up. Come on, bro. What if the it's movies? Not, what if it's not John Wick though? I don't know what that means. Like these movies are all called John Wick Chapter One, whatever the fuck. <laughs> so what like the movie called Wick? John Wick Five, but it's not actually John Wick. It's like, actually, bro, how actually, they, because, and it's a girl, I'm Jenna Wick. For real, like, awake. because right. he's dead, bro. What the fuck are they yeah, going to pull I, off? Hey, listen. I don't know. Listen, we girl. See, as long as it's the same writers and director, we should be straight. Yeah. Because it's the same people that worked on all four movies. The There's same no director, call John the Wick same writer. Well, yeah. I don't know. They just said John... You know how movie studios are. Oh, we're going to release uh, Man of Steel 2, y'all. Man of Steel 2 is coming out. Yeah. And then later on, they're like, the official title is Batman v Superman okay. Dawn of Justice. It's always working titles. Yeah. Hey, y'all, we're going to put out Black Panther 2. They're just letting 2. you know a new movie coming out. It's like, out. hey, by the way, Black Panther 2 is coming out. And then guess what? The official title is called oh, Black okay. Panther Wakanda Forever. Movie studios just always put the number that's just kind of like, let y'all know it's coming. Exactly. We don't know what it might be called. Like, same called. with Deadpool 3, actually. Like, Deadpool with... Uh, oh, yeah, didn't... Oh, yeah, the director yeah. said that's not going to be the title. Yep. He said that they're going to be, be called something else, mm -hmm. but everyone just calls it Deadpool three because it's easier. Yep, mm -hmm. exactly. that's just the, okay. it's just film. I thought studios. that was so, the I, I thought that was the official thing. If that's it why is, I, I don't that. care, girl. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Resurrect now. them. I don't give a fuck. They're all all of them are fired. Uh, we'll see, man. We'll I don't see. know. I got to see how they do it. He faked yeah. his death. Oh shit. Type he faked shit? his death. I mean, that could uh, so it's live a normal life type shit, and he comes back for whatever reason. Maybe his kitten got killed. His what king got killed? Got killed. His kid. His kid. Oh, his kid. No animal got slotted. I thought you said king. Ain't no like, what the fuck? Ain't no, ain't, it's like people who are doing hunting in the woods. Ain't no yeah. way to shut this moose right now. For real. It's a rap. It's a rap. I'm going to create mass genocide. That's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> funny as <laughs> fuck, bro. But, uh, but yeah, my, with with my rating, right? Because we didn't get to that. Hop skipping me again, man. That's crazy. <laughs> no. It's a 10 out of 10. Man. Hell no. Nah. 10 out of 10. That's I gave funny. all that three episodes 10 out of 10, man. This show is a 10 out of 10. That's crazy, bro. Hey, man. It's a really good fucking show, man. And I the love the three episode thing. The Continental yeah. or Peacemaker? That's tough. That's tough because the Peacemaker, I gave a nine. Oh, you did? Peacemaker, I gave a nine. Interesting because that's your number one 
that was your number one of best TV shows of last year. Yes. That you've watched. Even, even Dahmer. Uh, actually, no. Was it Dahmer? No, it was no, it was Peacemaker. Yes, it was. It was Peacemaker. Dahmer was close because Dahmer was really fucking good. Uh, but here, here, here's the thing, man. Right? Because I love Peacemaker, man. But I and I love the Continental. And to me, even though I gave Peacemaker a nine and Continental a ten, to me, I think they're even because I think they're just too different. Like to compare. Uh, yeah, dude. Peace, like you know what I mean, dude. Yes. It's no, just, I I it's you. just different vibes. So I think. To me, they're equally, but yes, I'm still sticking with my rating. I, I've, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you, Av. I actually um, thought back on changing my rating for Peacemaker mm. and maybe giving it to a ten. Mm. And so that was the back of my head. But like I said, I only see it once. Maybe if I watch it again, and maybe like if I watch it a second time, maybe I could change my rating. But as of right now, like to me, they're still the same. But the Continental match, just everything, how the episodes were. And I guess it maybe helped because they were short, I guess. I don't know. But just it being fire, like, captures what John Wick is, man. It's a 10 out of 10, man. Mm. Like, Mario, did I... you did you give your full? No, he's going to go last. Oh, okay. I'm going okay. last. Yeah. I'm so used to Mario going first. Uh, but, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for me, Mario. What about you, man? You're, you're rating on this episode um, and your final rating for the overall show. For the last episode, I'll give a 10 out of 10. Dang, as okay. for the series as a whole... I mean, I can't really add much. Both Hav and Hector yeah. said pretty much what I was going to say. Just know that this is still up to the level of the movies, the vibe, the energy, the whole world building, everything like that. The acting, the writing, how they shoot shit, how the action. He said how they going. shoot shit. How they shoot shit. Yeah, how the gun got to keep up with me. Yeah, like <laughs> it, it's all it's all I- iconic for the John Wick universe. I'm excited for the the future projects because I know they got like multiple lined up. Um, I don't. You, did you say you said the movie is the movie next or is it another show? How do you know? I don't know. All right. Well, either, either way, whatever. No, comes, I mean, it's got to be the movie because this this show just came out. Yeah. Yeah. Like it makes, a month pro- ago. Probably makes. Yeah, you're probably right. But uh, you know, as, as a series, the whole thing, three episodes. I mean, I hope all their series are like this, where it's like three, four episodes, an hour and a half each. Because I. I like oh, that. That's man. Vibe. I like I that like, format. I like it I a really lot because like it's like it. three episodes. So I don't because especially us as reviewers, we don't, we don't, I'm like, damn, twelve episodes, like, yeah. forty minutes. I was like, damn. So shorter, the shorter length. I don't know. I guess for reviewers, I guess it's a cool thing. Um, but as a series, as a whole, as a series, three episodes, I would probably also give it a ten out of ten. I really dang, bro. We all gave it tens, man. The Continental. By the way, side note, yeah. I prefer the Continental over Peacemaker. Yeah. Oh, that's man. great. It's so tough for me, man, because I. Love but then again, you know how Mario's like, oh man, I love animation. That's my niche. So I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like softer on it. Like I, I big it up more. Yeah. For me, my niche is action. Mm-hmm. That's why, like, I got you. A, that's I got why, you. like, January movies when they come out in theaters, they're always trash. Because Hollywood studios just like to put trash movies in January. But that John, but that Jason Statham movie, yeah. it's just action, bro. Like I gotta yeah. watch. Okay. It. Netflix is Daredevil or Continental. Daredevil. Nah, yeah, right. superheroes. Bro, superheroes and action. It's, it's not. not even that, because Daredevil is not so much a superhero show. It's more drama and gritty and action. Yeah. It's just that mm-hmm. if you took out the element where the guy dresses as a Daredevil, yeah. it's He's like... Basically, you, you basically would, you would, you would, you would, you would <laughs> believe no. If you took out the element that like Matt Murdock dresses as a as a superhero at night, this could this could easily be like a John Wick spinoff show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Type shit? Yeah, right. like, yeah. That's literally what it feels like. Uh, oh yeah, I probably prefer Daredevil over. Constantly. No, yeah, uh, f- yeah. For me, it's 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 tough, man. It's tough for me. Uh, but I mean, that's our ratings. We gave it a ten out of ten. I think the first ever show that we gave it ten out of ten. Probably the only Is show it? we reviewed so far. I forgot what I gave. Peacemaker. No, we reviewed like the Disney Plus. Stuff. Oh shit! I mean, I don't even count them. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. Oh, but no. this is the first ten out hey, of ten. Hey, but you know show, what though? Think, we got we? two John Wick contents this year. John Wick really? 4 and this and Continental and I think we all oh, gave it 10 yeah, to both yeah we did no yeah, yeah you, you did. did you we did. did bro hey man John Wick is staying up bro That's it crazy. is man I mean fuck and this is why I don't mind a fifth movie bro for real resurrection the- it's called really? resurrection <laughs> John Wick resurrection but how's he alive uh, I needed guns some shit like lots that lots of guns yeah I didn't uh, have enough guns <laughs> yeah for real uh, but yeah guys that's gonna be our our uh, Spoiler review for the first for the three episodes for the entire you know series of the Continental, and with that being said, thank you guys uh, so much for listening, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Take See care. You.